Hello everyone and welcome to another Throwback Thursday. If you haven't been following along, this is our journey through the Star Wars CCG. Started with the very first set premiere, opening boxes set by set, one box. It's the real uh, experience. So. It's exactly how a lot of, I didn't get to experience it like this. So I didn't find this game until kind of the end of its timeline. Found vintage stock was selling packs for 99 cents, which I didn't realize were an investable asset at the time. <laughs> well. As uh, it oft often does. Yeah, but <laughs> the, uh, picked up random packs, built some decks, and played, but I wanted to experience the game like it would have been like to experience it back in the day, going set by set. And, like, we played the Star Wars TCG. We were a little older at the time from Wizards. And this is about how we would have experienced that game, which is a box of a set. You might buy some singles. Um, so we're working with a limited collection, and it's been incredibly fun, Super fun. to get to experience it and see... Because I'm, I'm used to the game fully formed uh, and all the crazy stuff that eventually comes along. And so playing just a more focused, primitive uh, version of the game, and maybe more importantly, something I've really enjoyed is us essentially building decks that are intended to play against each other. Yeah, like the same basic theme so we can play on Hoth and have that experience. Yeah. Which this game is really good at. So, sometimes in like a tournament, I can imagine this game, you're kind of playing next to your opponent. Someone's playing on Hoth, someone's not. Or someone's playing in space and someone's not. Uh, but it's been really good. Last week we did Hoth and that was incredible. Uh, so what we're doing today is Steven is actually, I, I did it a little bit, but Steven really tweaked his Hoth deck. And we're going to play again using those same uh, updated versions of those decks, having a little more familiarity with what that, that, that includes and how to play those, those cards. And then afterwards, I think... We're going to open this box of Dagobah Revise, which yeah, I'm excited to do. Definitely. We had we had some internet issues going on on our uh, production side. So we're, we're working on getting all the cards so we can pop everything up on the screen. Don't know if we'll have that done in time. Uh, some of the host stuff we're still waiting on too. But uh, we'll enjoy it. We'll talk about the cards regardless. And hopefully that'll all get in before we get started. Yeah, and then the, the intent is next week we would actually come back. And, you know, knowing how the Hoth... Uh, cards are so or not hot dagobah um it's middle of empire strikes back luke goes to train with yoda the empire is striking back right and really uh doing some crazy stuff so the intent is that we're going to take these cards and probably just build uh decks using everything we have like all the whole collection and kind of see where we're at with the experience at that point it's unlikely i know jedi trainings in that set but that's uh, one we're unlikely to pull all the stuff that you would need to do it and two it is definitely a play next to kind of scenario because you're off training on Dagobah, your opponent's doing their own thing, and uh, that's not exactly what we're looking to experience. But we are going to open it, check out all the cards, and then integrate it into our collection, which I'm excited about. David asking if I went transport fun. I, I didn't have the card support for that. I looked at that for a little while, um, and the whole thing just didn't come together. It, it really didn't work out. What I'm actually doing is, for the first time, I feel really confident in just general Star Wars collectible card game deck building process ideas is if it, you will how much of it is just having a, a macro level here's how i'm going to win the game yeah well it's having a, an understanding of kind of the way that the two sides play out and i think it, it helped to see what my cards are trying to do especially whenever we had that hoth battle um where you know you can bring in giant amounts of troops and stuff and you see all these rubble cards are about like if you're, you know, you're, they're double your power, things happen, or like you can move things suddenly from here or there. And so you really understand, of course, that like the rebels are trying to play a, an attrition, never get pinned down, keep moving kind of game. Uh, and the Empire, of course, is, is all about power and, and having a lot of, of juice at one particular place. So I'm trying to play to those fundamentals. Makes sense. Of like, you know, even having some space presence and making it hard for you to, to really anticipate if I attack here, is it going to go well for me or not? Um, and just wasting as much time as possible. Yeah. I mean, that, that's really the Rebel way. It's just waste their time, hopefully. Yeah, and I mean, it makes sense. Thematically, the Rebels are a small unit they're basically just trying to evade the empire the whole time and they win from this kind of underground overwhelming slow build presence not as much from the big battles and winning the fights yeah um but when they do fight they want to they win yeah like you they should win you're prepared to basically surprise every time they win too at least in the movies it's more a surprise than it is like a oh we both have a giant army marching against each other it's like yeah. oh you blew the death star up or oh uh, you were more prepared for this moment than we expected you to be sort yeah. of situation. You found a way. Somehow yeah. you found a way. Uh, there was a comment uh, 
before that saying HRM saying twice the Tauntaun count? There's a plenty of Tauntauns in here. Yeah, yeah lots I think of, I got most of them. Lots of Tauntauns. They're a good, good unit. And I love those handlers too. Super good. Uh, starting out, same locations. I've got the generator and the other one. Uh, it gives you one. And, and I've got the fourth. planet. You want to give me a top down so I can yeah. get situated right? Let's get them. Let's get a move. Now we There's zoomed out like crazy because I assume that it's going to get crazy. So I'm going to do the same thing. Put my hoth. I love games that you have to perennially zoom out on. That's right. It's like, oh, well, let's see how this is going to go. Okay, we've got this about here. <laughs> we've got this here. Jonathan says, so you guys are doing Star Wars CCG again next week? I can't keep taking every other Thursday afternoon off. Oh. I don't know. Sure you can, you know? Sure you can. It's amazing that someone would take off to hang out and watch us. That's really cool. Yeah, it is nice. So you're perfectly on middle here. We need we need to redo our centering conventions. Because like we got our corner table. It's like mm, the camera's not pointing at the, yeah, the it's not perfect the back exactly. end, exactly. It drives me crazy. Or actually that might not be true. It's this camera. Yeah, it's the top one. Yeah. But you know, I'll sit here and do this for the next twenty minutes if you let me. Zach saying apologies if you answered this before, but what's that dope playmat? So this is the Hoth playmat from FFG for X Wing. If you're looking for a good Star Wars playmat, X Wing is a great place to look. They have a lot of them. Yeah. Got them all. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let me read these down real quick. Hoth, the dark side planet. If I control for each of my starships here, my total power on battles on the planet are plus one. Yours is the same thing. So great. you control that. That's a problem for me. Uh, you have the uh, Hoth North Ridge light side version. Doesn't count when calculating epic events. Doesn't matter to me. This site does not count when circuit. Yeah, whatever. Hoth main generators. Hoth and sh oh. energy shield rules. You can't deploy past the uh, fourth. You can't do yeah. fourth and less. Yeah, that's right. right? So you're, you have a shield that basically bubbles out to the third marker. To the third, that's right. If we pull that north ridge back up, you'll see it says fourth marker. And then if we can, the main power there. generators say first marker. Uh, so it's like one, two, three, four, technically five, six, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw. Draw an eight. Yeah, Zach, we should actually do that. We should reorient it so the planet's up here, and then the but like I don't know, you know. Well, so we nothing to be done about it, is there? I, I mean, guess we could just reverse we could the order, yeah? which is its own thing. That's a, that's a reasonable thing to do. I like that. Play the theme, right? That's Play originally why I put this over here. the The planet side was on this right, side, right? Yeah, and then we it's upside down. Everyone right. got confused. All right, let me read. I have a new. New lease on life here. Yeah, Alex, I know it's Thursday, but illusionist. Yeah, I'm still digesting that. That's right, Scott. If we're going to do three more cameras, let's get five. Do a confession booth. <laughs> professional commentary. Yeah. These are all very cheap things to do. Super Davy says, do you have senses in there to cancel this react? I don't. No. Don't tell Steve. We're not doing the altar and sense thing yet. Not really. yet. <laughs> Okay. How many do we draw? Eight? Eight. Eight's the big fancy number. And you need to be able to see this deck because this guy and stuff. You ready to party? Ready to party. You can look at your hand while I'm calculating. So first thing uh, on the turn is activating. I have the dark side icons out here, like on the Hoth planet. Two, three, plus one for myself. So four. <laughs> one for me. All right. Good. Okay. I will, uh, next is control phase. I don't control anything, so I can't do that. Next is deploy phase. I won't deploy anything. Then we'll go to battle, skip it, move. Not going to do that. Then we get to draw phase. I can draw for my active force, which I will do. Draw one, draw two, draw three, draw four. Then I'll pass to you, Mr. Willing. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Cool. It's a strange game, really. One, two, three, one for me. Getting four force. Adam, X Wing is on the list. We will play it at some point. I think I'm. I think I do it like this. Isn't that right? That's how I do. All right, so I've got force to spend. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is play my third marker right here. Mm. Defensive perimeter is in play here. I'm going to move that down. So we'll have two there. This is one. And technically, these are adjacent for now. These two? Yeah. Yeah. Like you can move from one to the other. And I've got all of this. 
all this stuff that I don't want to play yet, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I have a whole new lease on how I'm trying to approach this game now. So I'm going to draw all of these guys. Okay. Great. Mine? Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, five this turn. I don't control anything over to my deploy phase. I'm going to play a Hoth defensive perimeter on top. Oh no! To give me a second icon, uh, which I like. That's not what I wanted. And then let's do this. Oh, that was a four stream plus one win, too. That's a bummer. I am going to play a Lost Interrupt tactical support, lose a force. So I'll do no. that in one second. Um, so we use a force. Search through my reserve deck and take up to three troopers into my hand. Woo! Shuffle and cut. And I am just thinning. I'm thinning the deck before I keep drawing. Shuffle and cut. Now, technically, is it one of these icons? That's warrior. Uh, like snow, snow trooper officer. Does he count as a trooper? Does say trooper. It okay. says trooper in the he's title. A trooper. He's a trooper. It says trooper right there. Isn't that his picture there on the on the card? I mean, that's how we work out Star Wars CCG <laughs> problems, isn't it? That's right. Um, you just put him in your hand. Yeah. Let's find my rags. Ooh, I want them to stay. Let's grab another trooper and a regular snow trooper. Uh, someone say trooper on the card equals trooper. Yeah. Love it. It's, it's that easy, really. You love to see it. It's that easy. All right, those will go there. And then I'm going to go to the draw phase. Start drawing? I need a ship. Draw. Draw. There we go. Uh, we'll keep drawing. If you're going to draw, you just do it early. Early and often, that's what I say. Uh, two, three, four, four, nine, six, seven, I believe I'm happy with that. Happy with it? I think. Let me make sure. Two, three, four, five. I got five coming in. Leaving it? Yep. All right, five coming in. We're going to pay one for a Tauntaun there. Uh, we're going to pay two for a Tauntaun Handler here. Okay. Deploy the, the fun squad. And then we're going to go to the draw phase. We're going to draw one card. Can you... A Tauntaun can't force drain me, right? It's got a quarter ability. So does that count? I think so. That's have ability to, to drain, zero. right? Yeah, that's ability great. Greater than zero. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave one force in case I need to scoot and uh, pass over to you. Scurry, the different. All right. Uh, activate six. Oh, wait. One or greater. Hold on. That changes the plan. I'll still activate six, but yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, let's do. Ooh, I want both of those drains. Drain. 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 Didn't have this guy. Um, sure. We'll just put we'll just put these guys together. Yeah. Solve that problem. It's good, because I'd have to deploy and move, and I can't fight you. Yeah. That's a great place for you to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this card. Yeah. Makes sense. Hmm. That'd be hilarious. Four Tauntauns can drain you, though. That's awesome. What do you call a, a pack of Tauntauns? A gaggle? A gaggle of Tauns? A ton? <laughs> ton ton? Um... I will uh, pass. All right. All the way to the end. Yep. 
drawing? Are they uh, even all that force? Just leaving up? it, yeah. Whoa, building up to something, huh? <laughs> all right, one, two, three, four, five for me. Gonna drain you for two. Yeah, I gotta think about that. <laughs> you got to prevent this dump. Two. You just want all your cards. I mean, you, Me? you just, you, I just want to draw them all. I mean, because there's cards you need, you know, to fully uh, realize your plan here. That's, I think, like, it's it's probably pretty normal to draw, like, 20, 25 cards early. Yeah. And then you got to be able to work with half your deck. Yeah. Anything I need to know before I go? Did you drain two? No, that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry. Right, right. There's one. I kind of want to blow up Lizard Walker, huh? I want to blow up that good, shield huh? generator. Well, you know. So I, if, if, Who needs it? if the top card of my deck is the epic event, it's a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm going to discard here. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to do similar, man. Um, p Zach, I've been singing the Imperial March all morning. Honestly, I really hope I get the Executor in the next, in the Dagobah box. You have no idea. Didn't get Vader. The least that my destiny could do is f give me that. Give me that. Mm-hmm. I'm going right to draw as well. Yeah. Okay. Done. All right. Activate six. All right, X-Wing players. I'm going to play a Victory Class Star Destroyer up in Hoth. Mm. Uh, it has ability of one, adds one to my total power in battle at related sites. So technically plus one, plus one. Uh, but something prevents that from happening, right? While the shield's up. Is that true? I think it prevents that from applying. Energy shields. Uh, something does that. I remember reading it. This is classic Star Wars. Oh, I took those ports from the wrong file. You guys are right. I took it from my deck. Good catch. I need more money. Need more locations, you say? Only the farthest one out. Yeah, there it is. See, I knew, and it was yeah, there. It was yeah, in there. It is in there in your brain. Uh, I'm also gonna pay three to deploy uh, Captain Pyatt, Pete, Pyatt, Admiral Pyatt. Some stuff up there. Uh, whatever. He adds two. Let's get those dice going. It's two to whatever he pilots. So this is now an eight. It's also got ability to draw destiny in the event that that's a necessary uh, capacity that it needs. I can also use a force to search my reserve deck and take a probe droid into my hand. Using him. Not that I will, but I could. Whoa. Uh, then I'm going to pay three for a snow trooper uh, officer explicitly for the soak. The, all pilots and stuff can soak. Attrition. Attrition? Yeah. 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 If you drop into space and have an attrition, I have to not be able to lose <laughs> those things. Uh, then I'll pass the end of the turn. Okay. Yeah, so it's interesting because probe droids I can't play until I have a Star Destroyer. So I basically have to draw until I see a Star Destroyer or my deck just collapses. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. This game is great. Yeah. <laughs> I love it.
Okay. <laughs> Adam says, it must have sucked going up through the ranks of the Empire. If you get tagged as a snow trooper, you're doomed to be on Hoth. Uh, draining for two. Yeah. Let's go... One and off the top. All right. From downtown. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think we've got some play here. Jonathan, I'm pretty sure attrition, it doesn't matter if they're pilots or not. It just has to come from the battle. Like they have to be present somewhere from the battle, yeah. yeah gonna... And they have to have ability, right? To or I don't know. Everything feels like it has to have ability. They have to have the pilot to add the ability, as far as I know. So like his ability doesn't help, but uh, pilots does. All right, I'm gonna play next wing there. Uh oh, party time. And then I'm gonna go to draw Um, let's draw. One. And are there... I'm going to draw one more. Are there rules about number of times you can play similar cards? Like, can you play multiple the same event? I think so. Asking for a friend. I think so. I feel like I ran into that. Somebody said that um, you couldn't play, like, the same thing in the... You can only play one of any one event in the same Really? Combat. Yeah, I, I don't so. know. He, so back, will know. back when I played, I only ever had one of anything. So back in my day, uh, uh, David's saying yes unless it has a dot on it. So you can play unless it has okay, a dot. Cool, and yellow one. All right, activate six. Just an X wing checking in. Yeah, you, you know checking in, boss. I don't. I can't control anything. I can deploy. Did you drain two last time? You did, didn't yeah. you? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, man, it feels nice to have this many cards in your hand, right? You always feel like you have an answer to something. Yeah, just having cards is worth a lot. Um, interesting. Destiny draws are stronger this time. I'll have you know. Good for you. <laughs> Ready that. We're gonna we're gonna uh, tell a an amazing story here. I have no doubt. Right. I agree. <laughs> Um, okay. I won't control anything. I will deploy. This one isn't, uh, Jonathan, the, the drains minus one are, uh, here. I think. This just says troopers are forfeit minus one. So. Unless, is that a static rule that the third marker is drain minus one? I don't think it is. Doesn't it say it on the card? That one said it on the card last time, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. Fortune plus one for you. If you control four stream plus one here. One of those markers, I feel like I remember that. So if you put the X-Wing there, it makes me think you got something. Well, that's the Rebel. Isn't that also mean, that's what I think the Rebels are supposed to do, right? It's like, do you want to engage me? It costs me too money. What get, you know, if I find a way to get rid of this, it's a phenomenal trade. Yeah, I got to stop that. This drain? Yeah. This here drain? This here. That is what I got to stop. So I think this is a good thing to do. I'm going to deploy an ATAT -AT driver up here. He is mm. a pilot, so yeah. he's going to add plus two. 
Load it up. This star destroyer was full of sponges made for walking. <laughs> Uh, then I'm gonna go to the battle phase. Yeah. I'm gonna pay one, initiate a battle here. Okay. What do you got? Let's see what we got. Cancel it. Um, let's go... Panic. This initiate a battle where opponent has more than double your power. Draw three cards of those. Deploy anywhere. Any character, starships, vehicles, weapons, etc. All others are lost. You want to flip them so we can all enjoy the in, the tension together? Hey, now. Three free deploys. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's, that's so good. That's interesting. So we'll put a Tauntine Handler there. Uh, we'll put an X-Wing. Oh, my. What, will we put an X-Wing up there? Is it even worth it? They might all just die. Do you have two of those? You get a double deuce on that? I'm, you know, I might. I'm this gonna, gonna this is out. not going to be a glorious day for the Empire. <laughs> I'm find out. Another X-Wing up there. Nah, I mean, you can put the pilot on the ship. I don't think you can. They're, they have a permanent pilot, right? Oh. They don't have room Wait, for Wait, can't you pilots. kick the permanent pilot out? Can you? I don't know. Is that a rule? I think you can. Also, you got Torin Far. She was great in the LCG. Torin Far. Okay. Well, so it goes I mean, down if, to the shield base. If I can... Mm -hmm. But she's supposed to be at the war room, ultimately. I feel like putting the X-Wing out makes a lot of sense, because my attrition is unlikely to be more than five. And you get the extra power, so it's like you're saving yourself. Wait, what did you just say? You can't kick out the permanent. I think playing the X-Wing makes sense, because I'm probably going to attrition something. Yeah. But it gives you four to cancel the, the power deficit, and it's plus three. So it's a, it's a nice little... Uh, uh, okay, you got anything also, else? I'm going to panic again. Oh, Lord... That card's good. Oh my goodness. You're going to win this this fight all of a sudden. Oh my goodness, get out of here. And a Y-Wing? I'm suddenly losing. <laughs> Wedge can pilot that Y-Wing. May add one pilot. That's three to the power. Plus, the, what's the Y-Wing's power? Two? So now mm -hmm. you're at nine to my ten. And you probably have the ability now. Yeah, and you get a Destiny draw. Well, lucky there. Panic's a card you got to watch out for. Also, it's a used interrupt, so it goes to the top of your user. Oh line. my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> oh my... But, <laughs> now the thing is, I don't necessarily... I want Wedge on the speeders, you know what I mean? He can pay one to travel down on your move phase. Get to any exteriors. Any exterior sites, yeah. They can just beam him down. Yeah, beam me down, Scotty. They really just, like, drop him off. and come. Alright, sure, let's put Wedge on a Y-Wing. That's a story Amazing. Worth and then a bowcaster. Then the, it's a character ship. Or can you play weapons with that thing too? You can. Any weapons, devices, etc. Oh my! What in the for heck? For free. And it says for free. Does that mean the bowcaster can deploy for free? You usually, have to pay X force to deploy it on any warrior. I assume it's for free, yeah. but it has to go on a warrior. You have any warriors? Uh, Scouts. That thing. Is a scout? Is that a warrior also? Or does it have to say warrior? Oh, apparently you can't just pay one to put a wedge down. You have to have a capital ship. Uh, if you have a ship ship, they can pay one to move. The ship moves down. Mm. And then, and then he can, can hop up. But then they can't pay to come back up immediately. Oh, sure. Let's just make a run. Yeah. And then on the bowcaster, a warrior is any, any ground thing, right? Yeah. I mean, you can put it on wedge if you really wanted it. I'll put it on this Bugatti Tauntaun. On whatever. the back of the Tauntaun? Well, yeah, this guy's got it. The Tauntaun handler. You can have it, can't yeah. you? It's it, unenclosed. You can eventually pass it off to someone if you want. Yeah, like a Chewbacca. Yeah. Just because it's thematic. Okay. Uh, Symbol on the right. Okay, the blue gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like that guy. All right, uh, so I've panicked successfully. It was this unbelievably good panic. I panicked hard. Um, I've got another one. I'm going to go out of nowhere. Just initiate a battle at a system where I have a starship with a new bird greater than three, which is four. Uh, use one force to add a battle destiny. So I get to draw two, or is it an on-off switch? That's important for me to know. I think it's two. Right? Is it two? That was a dunk maneuver. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> is it two? Just tell me if it's two. I, I think it's know. two. Okay. So I'm going to draw uh, two battle destiny, and then we're going to combine Yeah, you again. get two. Uh, okay, 
Mm-hmm. So I'm at 10. What's your total at this point? 3, 6, 7, 8. 2 plus 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you're ahead by 1, and you get an extra destiny. That's I right. better hope you whiff. Well, I haven't seen a lot of my locations yet. Well, so I'm super nervous. And I hope I get that Chewbacca card. Soup's nervous. There's a four. Two. And there's a five. Plus nine. So yeah. You're 20 <laughs> to my 12. I have to lose eight, of which nine has to be attrition. That's right. So that can be all of your pilots. That's awful. Because <laughs> then I'm in the fight again. Yeah. And you're just going to dunk on me. <laughs> I think this so. is so bad, actually. Um, I'm going to do everything. It's all gone. What a story. The rebels are victorious. <laughs> Steven says Steven wins. Yeah, I, th- I think you just win. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Welcome to Star Wars, the collectible card game. All right. Uh, I will <laughs> the pass are short to sometimes. the end of my turn. <laughs> That's crazy. How many ships are in your deck? Uh, there are Ish. six-ish. It was pretty fortunate. <laughs> pretty fortunate, I would say. I wanted to open that deck of a box anyway. Uh, okay, so we go to me? Yeah. I don't know. I thought I had a great exchange early on last time, and then um, you, you found a way to come back, but this is pretty, pretty troubling. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's right, Lady We're saying same story as last game. Here come the snow troopers. <laughs> Empire is good when they're losing. You gotta watch them. I'm gonna drain you for five. If you would, please. Oh, we're going to the top of the deck. Now we know it's yeah. getting real. There goes Stalker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had two attrition. You have to lose something. Oh, right on. It's gotta be next swing, I reckon. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's not, I'm currently at one, two, four. Yeah. So I'm still at one destiny. So that's. Yeah. If I leave my Star Destroyer, you get an extra fight. You probably win and also get rid of my Star Destroyer anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's pay one, throw a taunt on here. Control the control the pass. And then I'm gonna go to Drazi's. Okay. Drawn. 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 Mine? Yeah. Activate six. Let's see if we can make something out of this. All right. Well, I'm I am all in now. Uh, oh, I can't even do that actually. It's so bad. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Frank, it's saying, "Hey guys, uh, I just want to stop in real quick at work currently and say my champions tokens and boards arrived. Looking forward to opening them up when I get home." Frank, it that's fantastic. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate that very much. Uh, and I hope the products are up to your expectations, as I assume they will be. It's certainly the goal. It's so bad. Uh, I'm going to draw. And draw. There's something and in there. Draw. <laughs> I just know and there's draw. something in there. And draw. It's going to matter. Uh, I basically have to mount one offensive. What's your total power over here? Total power is currently five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I will end my turn there. Hmm. Okay. 
Get rid of me. Five power. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to drain you for five. Which you, location first? You love to see it. It matters. Let's go here. For two. Yeah. Start with a big, safe drain. All right. Two. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, one here. Guys. Okay. <laughs> there. <laughs> Counter Assault. Oh, pay no. one. Use a force to cancel the force drain at one location. Uh, draw one destiny for each character, starship, and vehicle the opponent has present. So three. Yeah. I compare my total destiny to your total power. The player with the lowest total force loses force equal to the difference. Okay. So I'm going to draw three destiny. Yeah. What's your total power? My total power is nine. So Five, I'm looking for six, better seven. than my nine. My total power is eight. It's better bad. Bad odds, but I need uh, something. You got better than eight here. Zero. <laughs> three. Four. So I lose four force. <laughs> Your face. Let's lose it from top of deck. Make Wait, this quick. Well, how do you lose four force there? Well, it the... It's the counter assault. So I cancel the drain. Yeah. And then I draw destiny for each thing you have present, yeah. basically. Whoever has higher, the opponent loses the difference. Oh. So like if I flip like a five, 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 or 15 to your nine, you have to lose six force. But the difference was eight to seven, wasn't it? Because you had four and a three? I had three and a one. Oh, it was a three and a one. So I had four total. Oh. So I'm losing awful. by four. Right. Right. Yeah. But the risk reward on that is I'm canceling a two. Yeah. So I basically just lost two extra. Yeah. For a chance great. to not lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. Just keeps delivering. Okay. Well, um, you know. You're gonna pop in here some at some point. We all know it. Um, so two four. We all know it. I think yeah. I'm just gonna hang loose, man. Um, and I'm gonna start drawing one. What up, David? Two, three. That's good for me. All right. All right, let's think about this. Good morning, David Whitfield. Good to see you. May the farce be with us both. It's bad. Well, you found the Hawk base in a big way. No doubt. Sure, we lost a Star Destroyer. We think they may be on Hoth. We'll be there in six turns. David's saying, I actually don't think you can transfer a weapon once deployed, but maybe someone on chat can verify. I can't imagine this game not having rules for transferring a weapon. You can literally, like, dock a ship in a cantina and spill a drink, you know? So, like, you have to imagine. Yeah. They have rules for everything. All right, let's do this. I'm going to play Blizzard 1. Okay. Uh, immune to attrition less than four, and when it's using the ATAT -AT cannon to target the generator, it adds plus one. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to deploy General Veers. General Vehicles himself? Uh, adds plus, plus, it doesn't matter on that part. Imperial is the same side or plus one power, adds three to the power of any combat vehicle. On Blizzard 1, also adds one armor and draws one battle destiny if not able to do otherwise. So he is on Blizzard 1. He's adding three, so I'm at ten. And then I'll pass to you. Hmm. Walkers, huh? So I have to pay one to move the Y wing like down to an exterior site. Yep. Can I drop wedge off and then pay one to send it back to space? So the pay to move is a once per round. Okay. He can hop off the ship for free. Yeah. 
Um, but they have to move down to the... So then I become to a little bit reckless in space there. Jonathan B. saying you can't transfer weapons. During the deploy phase, you may transfer weapons from one of your characters to another by using a force equal to the deploy cost. Okay, let's think about this. Five... Now on these Tauntaun, these Tauntaun writers say on a Tauntaun draws one battle destiny if not able to otherwise. So if you have four ability there, it, that ability doesn't matter. Right. Is that right? Yeah. It makes it sound like you're drawing destiny like per entity. Yeah. So like uh, Veer's on Blizzard 1 and gets to draw destiny even though I only have three present. Yeah. Because he has that same okay. text. All right. Let's activate some force. We're, we're five, five alive still, right? One, two, three. Five. Well, what can we do? Drain me. Drain you, yeah. Uh, starting here, two. Three, four total. Three, nice. Four total, yeah. yeah. Mm okay. But where are my power harpoons? Where are my power harpoons? Dang it. Go for the legs. Go for the legs. Oh, man. We just, we should probably just Bugatti this, right? Moves are after battles. Mm hmm. But you can react to move in. Mm hmm. Uh, moves are react from a battle, not to not a battle. To a battle. Yeah. They run, they don't come to the fight. Yeah, Tauntauns aren't exactly. Blowing it up here. Zach says, tie ropes on that tauntaun. I want better than this. It's interesting because you don't really want to pop stuff out until you have to. You feel me? Mm hmm. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So. See what I'm going to do. Now, there's those cards that attack you for having a lot of cards in hand, right? Mm -hmm. Those would be good cards for us to run at some point. If you have more than 13? Yeah. yeah. It does do that. Yeah. I've got two of this guy, I think. David Vegel says, I still can't believe that panic. I panicked, man. You dunked on that panic. I panicked. You almost didn't even put the second X-Wing into that fight because you were like, you were just looking to play free stuff down here. Uh-huh. And then uh, it got real. But I was properly panicked. I'm going to play a Tauntaun there. I do think you could play a Panic deck, though, easily. Well, I kind of ended up there. Well, if you have, like, only so many reds, it's like... Send something into a battle you know you're going to lose. It would be really good with the reds that also cancel. Like, if you lose everything in a battle, you can cancel the rest of the damage. Yeah. So you just leave the one X-Wing and you lose it, but then you cancel it. So you sack one X-Wing to get like 10 That's things. The, I was wanting to do that, but that, that well, the Hujix thing or whatever, that one Destiny, I was like, uh, can't do that. We can't do this. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I just have a thing that I want to do. And I like it. But I'm, I don't have enough money. We haven't gotten enough sights out, I feel like. I do have Imperial Barrier in the deck, by the way. So I'm going to draw at least a few. I don't have to decide until I draw, right? One more. Did you want to fight my walker? Let's leave four there. Nope. Hmm. No. Interesting. All right, let's get six. Let's go to deploy. I will... A three for a snowtrooper officer. Mm -hmm. My snowtroopers are minus one to the same site. So then I'll pay one for a snowtrooper. I've seen this before. One for a snowtrooper. 
But no probe droid this I time. can't play a probe droid without a Star Destroyer. Mm -hmm. And you just put my Star Destroyer. That's right. So that's a problem. Uh, then I won't fight, but I will go to move. Uh, do you have to pay to react? Do you have to pay to react? Mm -hmm. mm. Worst plan. He's not going to play there. He's going to play it. They can react to his location. To his uh, location? To, or? The snow troopers can come to the opposite. Oh, right on. Okay. But I thought it was a free react, so I could basically bounce him. But they can't. So I'm going to leave him there, and I'm going to pay one to move. Okay. There. And then pass the end of the turn. Mm-hmm. Well, but he can't react away from this. Right. So these snow troopers are ready to get blasted. That's right. If I just play a bunch of cards. Five coming at you. One, two, three, four, five. But only two drain. Got it. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Let's do this. Let's throw out. Let me make sure what I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I probably need to initiate a bow. One, two, five, six, seven. That's fair. Six, seven. All right, we're going to go rogue three here. For two. Mm hmm. May add two pilots to passengers. This is supposed to look awesome. Oh, wait, not Rogue 3, sorry. Doing this guy. Rogue 2. Rogue 3 is reserved for Wedge. Uh, then let's put Han there. Hello. Han Solo. And then we got to put this guy on there too. Do this. Give us a little gap. And then one for Dak. Or two for Dak. Dak Rattler? That's right. <laughs> How did you know? Just do. Dak? Dak's fate's not so so nice. And then can you uh put total power on this thing? Decisions abound. Yeah, I can put total power in those. Not that it matters. It so matters. Anthony no. says, hello all, don't usually get to watch live, but I'm tuning in from my Amazon Prime van during lunch. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Three adds two, so that's it. Five. And then they don't count their normal power? Right. Yeah, yeah. just their pilot edition. So we're currently at nine here. Great. And then... Yeah, I think that's it. All right. So then we will initiate a battle. We're at right here. I'm at six total currently. Mm hmm. And your ability, you got some attrition. Yep, I got four ability. And I've got attrition as well. We both got a destiny draw, nine to six. Hit me with that Any, seven. Anything crazy? No, nah, I don't have any force. All right. Let me make sure I, I do not need anything crazy. Okay, here we go. Ha! Five. Three. Uh, so I'm at nine to your 14. Yeah. So I have to lose five. And I've got to lose three no I matter what. I have to lose five either way. Uh, I'm going to lose my two snow troopers. And I'll lose this Tauntaun handler. That's fair. Van says, we blaming this beatdown on Admiral Ozil. That's right. He's as clumsy as he is stupid. I lost a Tauntaun ton handler. Uh, and then what's the difference? Do we do difference after attrition or before? So I kind of skipped you on that. Um, so I was losing by five because okay. I'm at nine tier uh, nine 14. Plus five, yeah. 
And I get five attrition. So if I lose five, I lose five. Right on. So I lost six here. And then you don't have to discard any cards. And then yep. I lost this. Yep. And attrition commenced. And uh, that'll be it. You don't want to fight my walker? I don't. Dang it. No. It's for you. I hate it that walker. Your, I uh, needed this power pile. harpoon, though, very badly. This actually goes here. I'm sad that I didn't draw it. it. That goes here, use pile. It does. That's right. Yeah. It's important. Okay. Start of my turn? Yeah. I get six. We have you now. Let's deploy. Uh, pay one for a snow trooper. Here we go. One for a snow trooper. Okay. You mm -hmm. love to see it. Never ending story here. Mm hmm. I mean, it'll eventually end. I only have so many cards. Uh, Did we decide on the open vehicles, like on the Tauntaun, he contributes his power and he adds two to the power of the creature he's driving? I or think he just adds his power. Just adds the power. Because he's not right? piloting the creature. Yeah. Okay, so he pilots the creature, brings it to three, and this is one. Okay. You, have, you only have one force. I've only got one so force. He can That's react right. with one of those Tauntauns. I can react with one of those Tauntauns. That's right. A couple of things that are notable. I can react with one Tauntaun. I can use Han's ability if you do a battle to draw a new battle mm -hmm. destiny. That's what's going through my head. Um, I think that's about it. I think I'm going to fight here first. So I'm going to start a fight at the defensive, perim def yeah, defensive perimeter. Okay, let me think for I'm a second. I'm at 10. Now your assumption is going to be that, you know, I draw attrition, you draw attrition, you lose your officer. So I'm immune to attrition less than four. Uh-huh. That's why I draw that five. That would be bad. Yeah. Six would be devastating. Do you even have a six? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Spoiler. <laughs> okay, I've got an action here. Casey's saying apparently the Tauntaun Handler adds both his power and his pilot power to the creature. Yeah. I don't know why, but I knew that that seemed like we had said that last time. Can I try to hit characters with a bowcaster if they're inside a vehicle? I don't sure, think it's enclosed, not, right? No. Not possible. If I was in an open vehicle, maybe you could. Yeah. Which is awesome. Trying to shoot me in the like thing. Yeah. Um, okay. Five to ten. What's the downsides here? So I get to draw Battle Destiny, and I'm immune to attrition less than four. Yeah. So unless you can get up above me. Which, you know, we've seen some you're, fives. Weirdly, also, you're, you're kind of like way ahead. Mm -hmm. So part of me would want to bounce here over yeah and just lose that guy and yeah. take some damage but then it makes the me trying to battle here really unlikely and you trying to battle there is ultimately probably fine for me you're currently ahead i'm at six you're at nine six to nine i could try to out attrition you like if you flip a location then like i'm gonna lose some power and you're gonna actually like i can start mord stating you, you also have a one card in hand yeah so you're gonna have to take turns to draw uh, so, I'm going to play Fallback. Okay. Just initiated a battle in an exterior site with more than double my total power. Five to ten mm, is nice, not more nice. than double. Close. It was before we figured that Tauntaun out. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Wait, you're not falling back? No, I can't because it's not more than double. Ten to ten. Oh. Or ten to five. Okay. Yeah, it was it. It was it. Four to ten, and that's where gotcha. that plan was correct. Uh, sure, man. Let's have a fight. Okay, I have nothing fancy. I'll draw a five. If you draw, a, if you had a six and drew it, it would be game over, like for real over. Your attrition less than four, right? Yeah. It's two. Drew a four. All right. So I'm at fourteen to your you were plus two, and that goes to your use pile. Yes, that's right. Thank you. To seven. So I win by seven. Four right. of which has to come from this fight. Yeah, and that's actually really good. They're all at threes. So the empire at least got one punch in. God, dude, the empire wrecking here. Meanwhile, I'm so running. I got to lose seven. You said. Uh, you lose by a total of seven. Yeah. yeah. And I've got to lose four here, which is going to happen. Yeah. Well. Jesse, what up, Santa? I finally get to watch y'all live. Thanks for doing this. Happy this, to do it. This has been great. Both these Tauntauns are going to go. So it's six? At six. Okay. And then one from hand uh, is going to be this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's up? You're at plus two over here. Oh, power is plus one. 
for each ship. Oh. So nice. you're at plus two. So you, you would you'd only lose by five. Right. But I only have threes to lose for attrition, so yeah, I gotta so lose all six. That's right. Uh consider it done. All right. Then Battle I complete. I will draw. <laughs> there she is, draw. Ooh, really? Okay. Uh, let's draw again. Hmm, that's a nice card if it if it worked that way. Okay. Uh, end of the turn. You're up. I'm up. All right. Put this X wing under. I draw five. A lot more small ball this game. <laughs> no planets. You didn't put any planets out. That's right. And we have less locations out. Okay. Well, let's go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to pay four to put Chewy here, not on a Tauntaun. Hanging out. I want him to add his power. These snow troopers are about to be wiped from the face of the planet. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, brother. <laughs> and then um, that's it. I'm going to initiate a battle here. Oh, wait. Do I drain? I need to drain you for two. Uh, yeah. I uh, lose two. And then initiate the battle here. Okay. Uh, so I'm currently at two is a seven because it's the same place as Han. Um, and then we've got this, and then it's a static two from space. So seven, 22? 11, 16, 18, I think. Unless I'm missing. Now, should these guys just go ahead and 18. drop out of the speeder? Well, the speeder has to have a pilot. Oh, it must to add its. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So you're at 18. Now, if I drop this guy out, do I do that during deploy? You're doing that during move. Okay. So I can't do it yet. Yeah. Uh, 18, I believe. Yeah, 18 to my 6. You're only up by 12. Yeah. Draw Destiny. 4. 5. Now you're up by 11, but you do have to take 5 attrition. Dax Don't out of here. That. Is he a 5? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> 9. And you got to do 11 with 4 from the battle. Yeah, we're going to do 9, 10, 11. No! <laughs> I finally drew my uh, cannon, and so I was just looking for the target of the generator. I at least wanted to blow up the barrier. Everything is everything is taken. Everything has been taken everything from me. It's been taken. People right. saying that Tauntaun's only one power. I'll leave one there. Oh, he used to have. Did he used to have a rider or something? Maybe. So I. Lose Three less. Left. Yeah. One. So I mean, it's you lose eight. Four from the battle. I think one of the troopers could stay if you wanted. I'll just nuke nine because okay. I lost eight. So yeah. I don't want to be there anymore. So you didn't lose your. I didn't lose it. No. Primary laser. Meter. That's right. That's right. I was super excited about that. <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> was I'm moving one course. power. All right. I'm going to use two force to deploy my ATAT -AT cannon. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Uh, on any ATAT, -AT, may fire during a battle at same or adjacent site. Uh -huh. May select a target at an adjacent site using two force. I draw destiny. The vehicle, if I target a vehicle, it's plus two and it's hit if it's greater than armor or maneuver. Starfighter's hit if destiny is greater than three. Character's hit if destiny plus one greater than ability. So it can shoot anything at an adjacent site for two during mm -hmm. a battle. Uh, or at the same site, I think, for not to, which is all fine. So then uh, here, I will initiate a fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be so annoying. Brian, appreciate the compliment. I am going to fall back here. Totally fine. Use one force, cancel the battle. Yep. Move all characters uh, to an opponent with no presence. So I'm going to move Tauntaun Handler either here or here, because you don't have presence at either of those spots. Let's go here. Is this, is this not presence? 
Because the presence is ability, right? You have to have ability of one. Oh, yeah. I thought you had to have like a character. I think there, it's yeah. I think it's ability of one. Yeah. But let me just make sure. Presence is spiritual mission. Have total ability or vehicle and starships that have the total ability. Yeah, that's right. You're good. Okay, the Tauntaun falls back. Okay. Uh, then I'll go to the end of my round and I'll draw. Draw. Come on. When do I get to put these things where they belong? Like put this guy on the Tauntaun and Chewie's weapon on uh, it? They can do that for free during the move. The, he can be on that for free during the move phase. Okay. Uh, this is during your deploy phase. You can pay the, the deployment cost to move it. You have to pay it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. End of the round. Go ahead. Okay. Let's activate some force. One, two, three, four, five. Force strain. Uh, three coming at you. Go one, two, three. Oof, there goes a six. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, Jesse. Saying his wife and him played for the first time in years because of this series. That's great. <laughs> David, and this children is why the Empire didn't salt the rebel trances with snow troopers first. All right, during my deploy phase, I'm going to do uh, Bowcaster is 7 minus Warrior's Power, which is currently 7, but it must be at least 1. So I'm going to pay 1 to deploy the Bowcaster to Chewie. It, seems, it just seems right. Seems. I don't even know if it's worth doing. I like it. Um, then, 1, 2, 3... And when they move, they can hop into and out of things at yep. any point. That's right. So we'll have two there. And then... I have two to play with. So let's put... I mean, yeah, let's pay one for a Tauntaun here. All right, then we're going to the move phase. And moving, we're going to do some stuff. Tauntaun Handler is going to hang out with his buddy Tauntaun. Chewie is going to hop on this Tauntaun. You got the Tauntaun crew. Tauntaun crew move out. We're going to pay two for two moves. These guys are going to move over here. Then I think for the general uh, general idea here, you might kill Han, but I think it's okay. Chewie's going to jump off, as is customary. Tauntaun's going to stick right here. And we're going to pass it over to you. Okay. Activate my six. Go to the control phase. I have an epic event. Target the main generator. No. During my control phase, fire my at, -AT cannon as follows. Prepare to target the main generator. Draw destiny. It's going to be this, but I don't want to look at it yet. Maximum firepower. If destiny plus X plus Y greater than eight. The main power generator site is blown away, and this card is lost. Otherwise, this card is used. Yeah. Uh, X is the ability of my ATAT -AT pilot, so ability of three. Y is the total number of hot sites I control. Zero. Zero. <laughs> so I am looking for a six to hit. Nah, you got to get a six, yeah. A one. To one. So that goes to use. This goes to use. Yeah. Then we'll keep going. Deploy pace. <laughs> Battle. Huh. What's your total power here? Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's fight. I'm going to fight you. We're in the weapons phase. I go first. I'm going to fire my cannon. Uh, Don't hit Han's speeder, man. That's what I'm shooting no. for. No. What's, what's its uh, maneuver? Four? 
So I draw destiny plus two, and if it's greater than your maneuver, you're hit. So I need a three or better. Mm-hmm. Ready? Yeah. It's a one. No way. Oh, look at the Empire just being awful. You get to shoot a weapon. You ever thought about changing your allegiance? Uh, I can't shoot my bowcaster oh, at the Blizzard one. Add one to each weapon destiny draw here mm -hmm. for the location. And adds one uh, because of this thing. So I was at plus two. Did you hit then? No, I drew a one. Three, four, five, six. So you needed a three? Is that right? No, you needed a four. Three, four, five. You need a four. You need a four. Okay. Still reasonable. All right, we're just fighting. I mean, but this is plus two. This so I was firing this weapon and drew a one, so it's two, three, four. So I only missed by one because I'm plus two static. I believe everything you're saying, although I don't believe. So it. plus one for a weapon. And, oh, actually, I think I hit. You have to hit eight, right? Or nine? Well, to hit this. Oh, you're talking so, about rogue yeah. two. Oh, so right. plus one on the weapon. He okay. gets plus one on my weapons. Right. Um, and then it's default plus two against a vehicle. That's the weapon itself. So it's plus four before I even draw. So and I actually hit a greater than four. Yeah, so I hit. So, so the it. speeder gets hit. It's hit. Now, does that mean Han's going to die or something? Or just the speeder's got to go? You got to crash um, the crash rules? Well, let's look. Star Wars CCG, a uh, classic. All right, hit. Turn for a target that has been successfully shot by a weapon. The target is marked by turning the card sideways until the damage second of the battle, at which time the target is forfeited. Um, so I think you just hit it. David's saying Han will also die. Unless you have a red card for him. To, like, escape somehow. Han's gonna die? <laughs> Got that Chewy card waiting. That's not what we're looking for. We don't need that. Uh, no, I don't have anything fancy for Han here. Yeah, so with beers and the thing shooting the generator, I need a four or better. And then it gets vehicles on default plus four, which is crazy. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. what, what's this for? Destiny oh. draw. Yeah. I'm using Han. What, what are you drawing for? We have Destiny draw. Our battle Destiny yeah. draw. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And Han, what it says, you may use one force to cancel it and draw it again. What does a cancel do to it? It just goes to the use. Monster use. Yeah. use. Yeah, all de Destiny always goes to the use. Okay, how about another one? Oh, Mamma Mia. I got a two. Okay. So I'm at 12. Well, these are going. Uh, you're at 12, I'm at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have to lose three. Lose three, none from the battle. You can just go right from your... Yeah. And I got to lose all of this. Go one. This goes two, to the use pile because of Chewy. Three. And Han dead. That was good, okay. Han. You know, you tried. You were not lucky. You drew two locations on Destiny Draw. Sometimes he doesn't doesn't uh lucky. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's all right. It says you may select a target on an adjacent site by paying extra. But you don't you don't have to. It's just a weapon. <laughs> David, Tatooine is there because I can Bugatti up in space. Uh, and it's a great double destiny uh, or a double force icon for me. As you can tell, if I could play more planets right now, I would be wrecking. Uh, speeder goes used because of Chewie? Yep, I got him. Cool. Yeah, Chewie says any of your starships, droids, vehicles go to used pie rather than lost when they're hit. Okay, uh, then I'll go to the end of my phase and draw. Okay. Draw. 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 And draw. All right. You're up. Okay. You got this walker. It's walker, man. He's a beefer. Got five. I mean, you're on a clock here. Yeah. Uh, four strain three. I sure am. Hmm. I got to win some fights and uh, blow up that base. You do have to win some fights here for this to work at all. This walker is just not, I mean, it's nice because I just can't really do much about it. <laughs> it feels like a walker. Yeah. 
So let's have Chewy. It's going to move for sure. So then meantime, and the lack of my me drawing locations was also like, that's a weird resource curve for my deck. Yeah. Like six around is not enough. Yeah. I need like a good 11 to do my fancy stuff. Adam asking if you have a tow cable. Mm -mm. Sure don't. It's gone. All right. Well, I haven't seen my uh, my uh, harpoons yet, which is a real bummer. Um, I'm going to pay one for a Wyming up here in case you get cheeky. They're now plus three. That's right. The universal static bonus. Yeah, in case I decide to go space. And then... I'm going to go to the move. Mm-hmm. Pay one to move Chewy over here. Yes. See, see. This guy can move later if he needs to. Now, it's pretty crazy because if I could fight you here, I could fire the cannon from downtown. Yeah. Totally good. But, you know, what are your chances of hitting a character? I don't know. They're probably pretty low, aren't they? I'm going to draw. Jonathan, you have not missed Dagobah. Or Chromo, you have not missed Dagobah. And then I'll draw one more time. Okay. Over to you. All right. Uh, activate six. We're running out of time. Uh... <laughs> you got ideas, huh? Mm -hmm. You got one card in that deck? Yeah. Well, th seven total. I'll pay six for a Blizzard, too. There he is. I'm immune to attrition less than four. I'm not, I'm not really worried about the attrition here. Then I'll pass. No battle? Come on. You can just run. Come on. I gotta be able to fight you and fire my cannon. That's the that's the hope here. Yeah. All right, I got five coming in. One, two, three, four, five. Mm hmm. Mm hmm Okay, let me see if this works. So... Dang it. I need one more force. How do I get it? When I deploy a speeder, can I put something on it from the from the field? I can do it during the move phase. I think you can immediately have a pilot be in it. Like on the board? Can I put Chewy immediately in a speeder? I think so. We'll see what Chat has to say. You think so? Yeah. This is also just a mistake. <laughs> Let's end this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to do that then. I'll try. Uh, Casey's saying no, you can't do that. You can't immediately put mm -hmm. a, a pilot in there. Man. It's, it's really okay. You just fight me there. I know, but. You're ahead by a lot. First, we'll put the ostrich down there. Why not? Big, big bird. And then I'm just going to dogpile and try to win, I think, is the idea here. I, I don't think you have to even play anything to win. Well, I want to win You're at harder. 18 to my 6. You're ahead by 12, and I can't draw Destiny. Two for the... We'll just put the, the rebel officers who have been coming out for this victory. That's right. It's a dance party. <laughs> Two for Wes. Wes gets a little moment here. Uh, yeah. Wow, you really are dunking. Yeah. And then I guess that's it. I'll I'll leave some leave some tuna just in case. So one on the battle. Uh, here comes the destiny draw. You say you can't draw any. Mm -mm. It's a two. I'm immune. You are immune. But I lose by a bunch. Uh, let's see. Four, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. 16, 17, Got 18, that. 19. I have 19 total. Counted, My six. I have to lose 12. Let's go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pass. Actually, <laughs> pass. Two from my hand, 12. Uh, activate one force. 
Uh, and then I um, will fight here. Yeah, I'm running. All right, this goes under. Right here. Put a tauntaun in the shield. The shield generator. Go ahead. All right, I'll drain you for three. You got yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, can you ditch from the board technically? Not that it would ever nope. help. You but... can't. All right. So that's one of the downsides of like if you play too much out, you actually run out of life force to commit. Do you want to do that exact same thing again? Do you have an interest in that? I would do it again. I mean, that didn't take us very long. That was hardly even an hour. Wow. I would do that again. Yeah, let's do that again, man. I feel like. I feel like we we just need to do that again. The double panic was too much. I mean, that's crazy. You just right? shut my entire like yeah. first. <laughs> I don't even know how long of the game down. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. This is what these games are about. Because I basically and... I needed to get a star destroyer out that was just going to be there, so I could probe droid to play the event that's minus one to play all my troops for free, which is what I was doing the next round. I almost just shouldn't have fought you. Yeah. Because there's panic only when I I initiate. Yeah, you have to initiate. A lot of the cards, the really crazy cards, are um, our opponent initiates. So, like... Like, you put in a lone X-Men. Even... The thing is, unless you hit two ships and a pilot, it's still in my favor. Yeah. Like, at least you have to, like, I get dominance up here. Yeah. Um, So, I don't know that I even play around that. Like... Yeah, Even you knowing it's in your deck, it's like just assume that I'm not going to hit two ships and all the Bugatti. Yeah, because like you know, you flip a couple of snow speeders and a tauntaun. It's like that's fine. Yeah, yeah, but that's right, Chris. And and, and that's what. So I, I like I, we were talking about deck building earlier. I started just really leaning into the idea that like, oh, there's a lone rebel. Something is it a trap? Is it not? Is it a bluff? Yeah, it's never a bluff. By the way, that's the best poker players. Yeah. Just don't just do don't, it. Don't bluff. <laughs> What's that Nemesaur? Yeah, Total Blast from the past. It's so good. And then we'll head to the... We'll do some Dago opening at the very end here. That's right, Jeremiah asking, what are the odds of another double panic? I mean, you know? We'll find out. I guess we'll Call that deck out. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> Jason, there are three out because the rules say that if you deploy the generator as your location, you can also deploy the exterior most location outside of the shield. Okay. Eight on? Eight on. We didn't see our we didn't see a lot of our locations. Neither one no. of us did. I mm. I was kept thinking like these panics are gonna hit these locations because I haven't seen any yet. <clears throat> Alright, you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna activate four force. You did hit two on the one one kind of battle that we had. Um, I will deploy a Hoth Ice Plains, fifth nice. marker. Yeah, here we go. Now we got a game. Doesn't give you any, and it, your four strains here are also minus one. Yeah, so, so it's a pretty solid there, yeah. location for me. Then I'm going to draw. You want to deploy on the planes. And draw. And draw. And draw. Okay. He's got no money. Okay, but you gave me... Oh, you didn't give me any cash either. That's annoying. Uh, four, one for me. That's what, That's like the perfect location for me. Yeah. Because you can't deploy there. If you're drained there, it's minus one. And it gives me two money and it gives you none. All right, we're going to deploy third marker and second marker. Wow, it's a different Here game. Here we go. It's hot, is built. We built this city. And then we're going to go hmm, I got to be careful here. Sure enough. I think I want to start putting the clock up though. Oof. That's a tough one. Um <laughs> You can't deploy there. All right, I'm going to go two for a handler there. Mm -hmm. And two for a handler there. Oh, nice. I mean, I have to deploy here. I know. So you're like super safe. That's true. So you, you can't technically deploy. It's got to be the outermost. Yeah. It feels like maybe I should go like two, two. I don't know. It's all basically the same difference, isn't it? 
Uh huh. Oh, four turn plus one here for me. So that's good for me. And then Destiny Drones. So let's do it like, uh, let's do it like this. That's good for me. No, let's do it like this. Mine? Yeah. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't control anything. We'll go to... Get that big money now, don't we? Um... Dredna, yeah, this is, a, this is amazing. This is kind of what happened uh, to us, T. So thanks, TC, for another amazing game. I, at first, I didn't get it. Like, yeah, text on Trench Run is just a meme. But the more I see this awesome game, the more I fall in love with it. That's it's really got good. some insane... It's got something insane. Alex, yeah, we, we have a bunch of internal... I have a bunch of internal sites. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah. All right. I... And I'm now behind to set up an early drain. Four cards, no money. I will just go to draw. Mm -hmm. Dark side. It's not what you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, draw. Weird hand. Draw. <laughs> okay. Starting to build a city. Uh... Okay. Uh, pass. All right. So I've got my force. I'm going to drain you for one and two, three. This is plus one. Okay. So drain him for three. One. Mm, making it work hard for those drains. Mm -hmm. Three, unfortunately, there goes my seven. Oof. I didn't have a way to get in the use pile. Yeah. All right, deploy phase. We'll do one for uh, Tauntaun uh, there. And then I'll go to the move phase. I'm going to put the handler onto the Tauntaun. And then I'm going to draw one, two, three. And four. OK. All right, mine. Uh -huh. Activate two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Robert walking by and just staring. It's like, what is this game? Okay. Uh, let's go six for is. a victory class star destroyer. Let's see if you have the double panic. Captain Pyatt back. Bringing Pyatt back. You. Yeah. Uh, go two for an ATAT -AT driver. Oof. So I'm at plus. I think you're controlling the space there. Now we've seen this before. Yeah, exactly. I'm at 10. It's basically insurance, right? And then we'll see if you can do anything about it. But now I have eight, which is helpful. Um, and then we'll pass. Okay. Can you only have one uh, attachment to anything, like one weapon or device or whatever? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a logic. Uh, you, like, if you... Could you put multiple cannons here or something? Does it, Is there anything that tells us, like, can only have X number of weapons? I think Star Destroyers, for whatever reason, can have... Just have infinite, infinite number? Yeah. <clears throat> I would like to know if X-Wings can have multiple instances of weapons. Uh, that's a good question. Just curious. I yeah. don't have the answer Just to that, curious. but I'm Just sure curious. we can get it for you. Okay, over to me. I'm going to deploy one, two, three, four, five, six for me. Two, three, four, five, six. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I pay one for Tauntaun here. It's my favorite thing on Earth. You go to you mean on Hoth? On Hoth, that's right. And then I'll start Did drawing. Did you want to drain me? Yes, I would love to do that. Sorry, three total. What makes it three? Uh, if you control force drain plus one at the third marker. Hmm. There's no reason for me to have not done this. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> We're all missing stuff all the time. All right, got it. Starfighter can only use one weapon per battle. Capitals are unlimited, and you can put any number on, it sounds like. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to my draw. One, two, three, four, and let's go five. Give me a little bit of a... Yeah. All right. I'll drain you for one. Woo! Look who's back. Back again. Get rid of a combined attack. And a combine. Uh, deploy phase. I'm going to deploy over your third marker. You're, oh, dear. You're, you. I had this forever. You're a plus one, so it's the same thing. It's just not as good for you. Right. And I get an extra resource. It's just like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, <laughs> Slightly less good. Let's pay one to use Pyatt to search my deck for a probe droid. Got it. You search your deck for a probe droid. Yep. I've seen how this can go. Don't worry about it. I think that's fine. like the number one rule. Everything's this, right? fine. You got to kill that probe droid. I know that for sure. He doesn't draw destiny stuff, right? He does. He does. I mean, he doesn't have ability, but he can fight and force drain and initiate a battle and be battled. Typically, you can't but do that. He wouldn't right. gain in a tri uh, mm -hmm. battle destiny. No. So, my Tauntauns need to hunt this thing down. You put I don't, him in I don't know what you're talking about. Um, then, let's go to the draw phase. So, I'm going to draw. Hello. Draw. 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 It's time to level up. Huh. Fascinating. Love it. Draw. Draw. All these cards I put in here, I'm really digging. <laughs> strange. Strange, strange. Strange times. Uh... Yeah, we'll draw. Let's just load it up. Me? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five on the board. One for me. So you always have some force present. Uh, drain. Let's drain you for three. One. Those pesky rebels. Two, and we'll go top row. Three. Okay. Deploy phase. We've got the war room. All right. It's going to give me two money every turn, and then if you control it with X leaders, your total power is plus X in battles at all off locations. Seems good. So, let's go two for Commander Evren. He is a leader, so I'm plus one at all my Hoth locations. He's in the war room there. Brought him in from Yavin 4. And then let's go... Yeah, that's right. Now, we said you can de deploy a, a pilotable vehicle with its pilot at the same time. Yes. Right. They, in they fact, do, you have to. Just not if they're in the... Okay. Yeah. All 
All right. And then we're going to go to the move phase. I'm going to pay one. Oh, wait, I was supposed to do this first. I got to put somebody in the pocket. A2 to put Torrin far there. Then I'm going to pay one to move the Tauntaun here. And then I'm going to draw one card and pass to you. Okay. Commit, bun. I'll drain it for one. You got it. Mm, good question. Nothing but good options up here. Yikes. Okay, all right, all right. Um, depends on the draws, isn't it? Let's go here. All right, we're going to deploy a Hoth Northridge fourth marker dark side. No, you no. Lose your icon there. No. My at ATs also move there for free. What? And then for my next trick. You saw your locations. No. Let's, uh, yeah, here we are. I think this is right. I'm going to pay two for a probe droid. Then I'm going to play probe telemetry. Uh, if my only character on a planet is a probe droid, my cards are minus one deployed to related sites for the remainder of the turn. Two force? Uh, I think it's for the first half of the ability. Searching your last pile. Or if you're only character, yeah, so you don't have to pay it. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think so. It, I have the force to spare if I end up needing to pay for it. It's not going to like totally wreck my turn. So minus one. Snowtrooper officer for two. He makes my other snowtroopers minus one. So snowtrooper officer for one. Seen this before. Snowtrooper officer for free. Snowtrooper for free. These officers, huh? Hmm. Yeah, S uh, SWCCG did the moon. This is a new game. <laughs> um, and then we will go to conflict. Okay. So I will go ahead and. Attempt to fight here. Where's your total power there? Two. You get plus one for Hoth, yeah. Four, six, eight, nine, ten. Ten to four, and you've got ability. Uh, you're taking like five, right? No, just four. Uh, five for this, yeah. For the commander. So you have a. Is it plus one at all Hoth sites? Yeah. So I'm just going to do that. And I, on the means, on the other hand, have a plus one. So two, four, six, seven, eight. I'm at eleven because mm -hmm. I have this plus one. I want a boogie. Yeah. Out of here. Okay. Uh, end of turn. Just panic, panic. <laughs> I will leave my force there. Uh, Steven said the minus one modifier doesn't stack unless it has the. Cumulative keyword. Is that true? Or is that only for some kind of weird... Abilities? Maybe they're minus one, because snowtroopers are minus one, and they can't be minus one, minus uh, one. Oh, right on. One. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so it still would have been minus two. So I should lose two more. Victory bonus counts. Outside of third marker, I don't know what that means. This bonus. Okay, yeah. So I'm at plus it does two, count. technically. So you paid two extra bucks, basically? Yeah, cool. to play this. That's totally cool. fine. All right, over to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. It's less. Four, five, six, seven. Ryan says, I'm sure I'm the billionth person to say this, but that play mat. Yeah, we're just... It is perfect for this. Hmm. 
I've got to get better options here. Go on to the drawing board. We're going to the drawing board. You're in the advantageous position because you can drain me all the way down. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's so definitely I, the plan. I get to slowly march towards you, and then you can be annoying. Yeah. So I'm just gonna move. I'm going to the move phase. We're gonna put. Got a taunt on handler on here already. Torn is now in a weird spot. So here, here's what I'll actually do. I'm gonna deploy Rogue Two here for two. Then we're gonna go to the move. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put her in it. Nice. That's cool. And then land speed four is awesome because you can like bounce yeah. all around. And I am going to do that. They want to move it down to here. This guy can stay. Just make you keep the wasting some time. And then I'm gonna go to the draw phase. You got it. One, two, three. Okay. And it's over to you. All right. Let's activate two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Your drains are annoying. I'm supposed to be doing that, right? Isn't this the, the rebel way? Rebel yell. I need cards. I'm Jesse, gonna... Jesse's saying, I used to know all of the rules and cards by heart. So rusty. It happens. Uh, let's do this. You better load them up in a big old land speeder. I'm going to play yeah, a Blizzard Walker. <laughs> we need to efficiently move these troops. It's a Dang it. <laughs> then we're going to go AT, AT driver with it. Oh, well, that uh, seems so... apropos. Yeah. So it's at nine. And then I'm gonna go to the move phase, uh, and he can move for free, actually. Oh, yeah. So you can't deploy there. You could move there, but you can't play there. So I'm gonna load everybody up. Okay. And he's gonna move for free, because he can have eight passengers, right. which is fine. Uh, and they're going to hop out, <laughs> you know, like they do. Absolutely no. And he's he's just gonna represent where all these guys are, even though they're not on the, on the ship anymore. So um, just the drivers on the ship? Yeah. So basically goosed them out there. Yeah. Then we're going to draw. I'll draw one. Hello there. Um, and I'll pass to you. One force hanging. You just got to threaten it. There are two cards I'm holding on to just waiting to play them against you. And I can't wait. Me neither. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. One for me is seven. This is how it's supposed to go. I'm generating nine to drain seven. I'm slightly able to build while you're draining me extra. That's right. That's the balance. Drain for one, two, three. We're going top rope. Oh, here we go. Epic event, epic event, epic event. Uh, David, this is the second game. Steven clobbered me in the first game. So if uh, if something says warrior present can do X, if a warrior is riding a tauntaun... Definitely present. Still present. Yeah. You don't have to jump out and... and I don't think so. Because the chopper. If you're in an open... open air vehicle... Yeah. David says non enclosed, so it's present. All right, and that's easy to remember. Non enclosed equals present. Okay.
Well, I mean, you know, you initiate a battle, I move, how we are of all of them situation, you know? Can you react multiple times? So like, you declare battle here, I move. You declare battle here, can I move again? I think it's once per. Once, one react per phase. Probably one react zone, move, yeah. Which makes makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, that would get very squirrely. Yeah. We'll see what chat says. How many cards you got in your hand there? Four. Okay, this is safe. I'm going to pay one to move. I'm, I'm going to the move phase. I'm not deploying anything. And then I'm going to draw. 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 Okay, I'm going to hold four. All right, activate nine. Is there is there a timing rules timing charge for this one, like reacts? So I have a lot of events that say when an opponent initiates a battle. Is that before reacting to move or after reacting to move? That's a good question. Yeah. Can you like chain all the bad rebel stuff and then move out? That's essentially what I'm asking. Mm. Like the panic, 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 and then move Bow. out. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, That's I'm a, a real panic. I'm gonna right drain you for one. Right on. Um. Need to play the ice storm. Yeah, this is a never. It would be a never-ending meta if we just played this by ourselves. Like, yeah. well, he's playing all these dudes, so ice storms. And just keep playing. rolling. Yeah. Well, then I got to put in my host survival gear so that I don't get ice stormed, and on yeah. and on you go. All right, I'm gonna play the ATAT -AT cannon here. Oh for my! For two force. Mercy. Um, then I. You got some nonsense going here. I'm gonna move. Play the old juke. Got that Tauntaun juke going on. I'm going to pay one to move an officer here. Because mm -hmm. my snow troopers can all react to his location mm -hmm. if I want to pay for it. Just two snow troopers. You got three snow troopers. I have three snow troopers that could possibly okay. react. Fall in there. Yeah. Um, and then I'll pay one. You're gonna like this trick. To put a snow trooper officer here. Yeah. Can they all go all the way? Uh, can he go all the way to this one? He cannot. They can react either direction. Okay. Um, and then I will go to the end of turn. I need to save. Technically, they could both react to him as well. Right on. So, you know, that whole trick. Yeah, you got tricks. Uh, so I need to save. Tricks on tricks. I will draw. Draw. Okay. Draw. Ooh, that would have been so good. All right, end of turn. Go ahead. All right, sweet. So, uh, did you read the David notes? Yeah, but that doesn't really initiate, react, but interrupts can get in the way. But, like, I guess what is a... Oh, this is an interrupt. So you can do all your interrupts and then your react, or you react and then you do all your interrupts to it or something? So you could react and then you could interrupt or react. And if I interrupted your interrupt, it would go on top. So it's just stackies? Yeah. Okay. We can stackies. Dude, I've I've been I built a lot of weird side strategies to hopefully be able to do what I'm about to do. So I'm extremely excited about it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the Star Wars CCG way. It's like, are yeah. you something's actually coming together? Stacks on Two, stacks. Three, four, five, six, seven. The red nose says classic Scooby-Doo move. Let's split up to catch those catch those rebels. All right, dude. You ready for the surprise rebel offensive? 
Two for an X Wing. Mm hmm. Two for an X Wing. Two, one, one, one. I can't go all out here. I'm about to make a decision, and it could go so poorly. That's why we're here, though, isn't it? Not why we're here. Put all our eggs in, in one basket. All right, pay one for some proton torps. Pay one for some proton torps. Now we sent some runners up. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to put Cal uh, OKFC okay, down here. Uh, do? This is the one of both pairs draw a battle destiny involving Cal. If mine's higher, yours is zeroed. Land speech three adds two to capital starships. Legs are too long to board starfighters or enclosed vehicles, of course. Okay, now we've got a moment here. I'm going to initiate a battle up here in space. All right, hold on. Don't you dare have cards that make this not work. Uh, we're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, then we go to weapons. Yeah? Mm hmm So I've got a card, and I don't exactly know how it works. It's called Combined Attack. During a battle, any system target one starship by combining the destiny draws of two or more weapons at the same system. So you're firing both weapons. Yes, I had to pay one force for each. Yeah, probably. I think. And then I will add these numbers together. And if that number is greater than armor, you are hit. So armor is five. That's right. So I've got to have two cards that are greater than five. You need six total. I need six total. That that's, should be that's easy, great. right? I mean, you gave yourself a chance, honestly. That should be and easy. And like, the fight... You're down by a decent, like, a sum amount, but, like, you have enough attrition that, like, it probably doesn't go awful for you. Five. Just don't draw a land, and I've done it. Oh. A sight. Yeah. This could be so Bugatti either Just way. Just don't draw a land. Or a sight, you know, however they call them. Got it. Seven. Boom. Proton Smash that hit. victory class. Yes. Nailed it. Okay. All right. And then those don't count to my overall... Uh, force thing. And I don't draw a natural force, because I just have two abilities. That's right. So I will draw, because I'm at... You do get to draw. Yeah. So yeah. we'll go ahead and draw. Plus two. So I'm at 12 total to 12, your six power. Six to six. And yeah. two of yours has to come from this fight. So we'll do four. I've got to lose six. Yeah. Oof. And I'm, of course, losing... I'm going to go random. These cats. I'm going random. Oh, baby. There's that planetary defender ion cannon, a beautiful card, and Commander Willard, who belongs in the war room. So I did two and then four from the board. To on saying uh, war room adds a power, but is war room sites or systems or both? At Hoth locations. So it counts. So you're actually saved one of those. Okay. One back. And then I can do more battles, presumably. Are you holding three, three money over there? Yeah. And you've got to pay one to move those things, or mm -hmm. they move for free? They react, not for free. So you, move, you waste two. I'm currently at a power five, six, seven, because I now control space. So just seven. It's worth five. noting, I can fire this in fights at adjacent Yeah, sites. but you won't. What does it cost? Two fours? Mm -hmm. So you can move... You can I just some... fire it, or you can move one snow trooper and also fire it if you want yeah. to. What does that do? Does that roast me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can just hit something. Likely. If it was a closed vehicle, I could blow something up. Yeah. So, you know. But, like, if destiny plus one is greater than ability, you're hit. So yeah, I can just so... absolutely hit that thing. Absolutely, until you draw that planet. Well, it's plus one, built in. Is that oh, I need, a, I need a one. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. I okay. get <laughs> I mean, seven, that, that's pretty annoying. You'd have to pay two fours to do that. That's kind of okay in the grand scheme of things, isn't it? Uh, this is a big moment, actually. It's a good question. Mm 
This is draw one battle destiny involving Cal. So if you try to shoot Cal, would that be a destiny draw involving Cal? It's if you're drawing a battle destiny though, right? This is if both players draw one battle destiny involving Cal and yours is higher. So if I'm shooting a weapon, you're not drawing a destiny yet. Yeah. So that's a that's an individual Truly. moment. Truly. It's when we're both drawing battle destiny here is when that would work that way. I'm feeling a little wild here, man. I'm doing it. I'm gonna battle you right there. Okay. What's your ability? My ability is one, two, uh, or one and a quarter, plus one. So two, two and a quarter. And a, two and a quarter. But he says I will draw a battle destiny if not able to otherwise. Okay. On the tauntaun. And you're at what total power there? I'm currently at a seven total power. One, two, three, four, five, six for space, seven for war. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this game's something else, man. We actually know how to play it now. Yeah, it really is. It's just like cruising. Okay, I am gonna pay one to react here, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll go to the f actual fight. Yeah, and I'll pay two to fire the cannon. Yeah, fires and missiles. Who are you targeting? Long daddy, long legs. This one. Yeah. Um, it, this is a five attrition, if that matters to you. So I think the thing that, I mean, if you hit the Tauntaun and it's greater than four, then I have to lose both, right? Well, you can lose six here. Mm -hmm. yeah. right and I want to make sure that thing's not on the table. Right on. It's so good, isn't it? It is really good. good. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm firing the weapon, plus one, and anything but a zero. Anything but a zero. Got a four. Yeah, you got it. All right. Ostrich it's hit. hit. Right, the, right to the legs. Okay, you get a weapons chance. No weapons. Uh, and then I'm at a four total power. Four to but seven with get a draw? A, I would both get a draw. Right on. And I need a big number compared to your number. I have a two. A one, which is a zero, because your ability. Oh, right, because right, of Cal, yeah. Yeah, so now you're at nine to my four. Nine to four. So you got to lose two from the site. you got to lose five total. Yep, so three and then two more. Dang, I wanted to clear that location. Four, five. And so now you can deploy here, right? That's well, I, I could deploy anyway. Oh, I thought. Oh, I, I, can, I can't deploy there. No, I can only deploy here until the shields are down. Oh, really? Yeah. You can't even deploy here, even if you infiltrate people into the. That's right. No way. Yeah. Wow, that's really good for me. Uh, okay, and Cal goes away because he got r totally roasted, unintended yeah. by that cannon. And then one, in case I need to move that tauntaun. Over to you. All right. Activate nine. Yeah, David, I got the plus one for War Room. One for space, one for ground, and then everything else is as you'd expect. But all eyes on, is that going to come up here and roast me in space again? Because now we're playing a little teeter-totter, aren't we? Mm -hmm. This is a good little pincer you've got with you, snowtroopers. <laughs> you gotta do something. I don't particularly like it. Yeah. You've also, you've kind of caught my tauntaun in a tough spot. Yeah. If, if you, you could deploy a lot here, and then I can react here, and you can battle both places, then that tauntaun's roasted too. Yeah, and that's a big <laughs> battle for me to win. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you on this point. Um, so We're I'm gonna... seeing the same game. Isn't yeah, weird. <laughs> I'm gonna play tactical support, lose a force. That was a zero on top, so great. Search my deck uh, and take three troopers in a hand. Oh, man, so good. Oh, it's such a good card. And they're minus one here. Yeah. They are minus yeah, one there. You, you got it. <laughs> Drat! No. Here come the reinforcements. I'm still a strong six right there for more room and air support. Yeah. You just aren't on ability is the problem. Right. He will draw. Okay, cool. That's that's fine. Riders always. Drop. I got these turds to drop <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like get in there already. These turds right. handlers are the jam, man. It's, I knew it the moment I saw it. I love them. Let's go three troopers. 
You're at eight there? Uh, two, four, six, eight. With ability. Um, and we will battle. So I'll pay one to battle here. Mm. Six to eight, we both draw. What's your total power over here? Oh, it's like it's nine plus four. Nine plus four, yeah. So it's not prettier. Sometimes a Tauntaun's just got to do what a Tauntaun's got to do. He has one force, so he can react to. Oh, you know what? You have a uh, two land speed. You can move here. Oh, right. Unless it, the react, what does the react say? May react away. Yeah, it may move as a react from. Yeah, the you can you can move all the way to downtown. Yeah. Hmm. I probably yeah I probably just get out of dodge here. I think that's fair. Don't fight the battles you're gonna lose. Now I'm gonna have to deal with this later. Is the problem. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna react down to Tauntaun land. I'm gonna try to ace that snow trooper. What's your total power here? Total power there's gonna be eight. Nine ten. This Tauntaun to the riders are four apiece. For space and ground. I'm in the war room. Okay. Uh I will move. We're gonna go to move phase. I'm gonna spend four to move all these guys. No, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. They might just be at my outpost. Holding it down. Those tauntauns back over there for one. I can feel it closing in, man. Yeah, I've got troops. I just got to hunt you down. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to load these guys up on this. I'm gonna pay one to move. All right. Here. You got T. The total of this group back here. Um, and then I've got the troops. So I will. I can't deploy out here. So you can move out here. That's fine. I'm gonna pay one to move here. What's up, Obsidian? You did make it. This is an awesome game we're playing. No, right I now. need my ability. Oh, you can't deploy there. I can't deploy Great. there. Uh, then I'll draw. Are these guys in the ship or out? Out. They're out. They're, They're hanging out. Yeah. Um, we'll draw again. I draw again. All right, you're up. It's getting lonely, man. <laughs> Down at the base? Down at the base, yeah. Uh, okay, I think I still get seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. I'm gonna need some cards. I'm playing that. Man, that weird stuff. Hmm. Okay. Question marks abound. You got three drain coming. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, I have it. Yeah. One, two, three. That's right. Drain um, on. Drain on. Two, three. No generators this game. Oh, but got that conquest out of there. I'm okay with that one. He doesn't mind it. Okay. 
compounds are good. They're very good. All right, I'm going to pay T for next wing up top. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's plus one to the field. Can't hate it. We currently have ability three over there. So, you know, just keep the hits coming. Now, they can react whenever you declare a battle. They can all move. Or do I have to declare the battle? Uh, they can react to move to that side. I think it's either direction. Okay. Like, you have a react away situation. Mm -hmm. Wait, look. It might only be able to react. I, I don't think they can react to me doing something. It's just anything you do. Okay. Okay. So if I go there, you might have to figure that out. I'm going to pay one to move here. Let's just play the game. And then I'm going to start drawing. Great. Two. Great. Okay. Mine? Yep. Activate nine. Apparently, racks are only two battles and four strains and only on your opponent's turn. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go to battle. I will... All right, to battle. Pay one battle here. Yeah, great questions. So I'm a six, two, three, I'm a seven. So weirdly, I'm controlling the logistics. Yeah, it's good. You know? I like it. Cool day. Okay. So I have to just clear right now any reacts that I have, mm -hmm. but then I can interrupt those reacts. Yep. Is that the idea? So you can like panic, then react to that, or react to move and panic it. Yeah. But you couldn't panic and then decide if you wanted to move after the right. panic, because you're panicking, I reckon. <laughs> Old Panic and Skywalker. <laughs> okay. Well, y you know, it feels like we should be leaving. I do not think you are a stay and fight kind of thing against <laughs> the Walker and Troopers and a probe droid. So I'm definitely going to react to move. And then I am going to play Panic. Give me those locations, though. There's Ooh. one. Power harpoon and a red. Oh, All right, hey, much better. That's much the better kind of panic here. the empire likes to see. Uh, Power harpoon I spooks that time. Woo, <laughs> woo! <laughs> you Rick flared him. <laughs> <laughs> and you may deploy for free. That's just crazy. I don't even know how that works. And they're lost, but that's you. This goes here, and these guys I mean, are lost. It's a it's a big hit when it hits, right? Yeah. But then, like, that was just kind of okay. That's the beauty of panic. You know, if you were banking on it, but when you're just using it casually, it's pretty... <laughs> Casual you, panic. You have to have reactor ways, too, right? The ability to panic and yeah. not get... Because normally, if you were just hang, you'd have to sacrifice and take a lot of damage to yeah. pull that off. Yeah, you got to be able to get out of town as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was that, that battle. battle is, is done. All right. And then... And I'm actually really Bugatti here. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's eleven right there. I do not like these tauntauns are powered uh, up by my war room. I've got so many logistics. I might as well deliver the mail while I'm here. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, then I'll go to the move phase and I'm going to pay one to move this. Here, and then I'll start drawing. I'm looking for a very specific card. That's that's fine. We like this dot. Spell one more. 
Perfect. Um, uh, cool. Look at how beautiful this game is. It's really great. I'm all about it. Okay, I will pass the interface. Okay. Uh, the playmat does look great with this particular scenario, so yeah. it's pretty amazing. Almost like it's intentional. Yeah. Seven coming at me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jason's saying, I only ever played this against one friend. And it's like, yeah, that was pretty much the story of the early card game world. Certainly with this. Um, and can you deploy pilots directly onto ships so they can pilot? Like, I could go directly. It can have two pilots yeah, and passengers yeah, that I can throw directly mm -hmm. on there. Um, boy. Is that what we want to do? Just set up, you know? Just set up. All right, let's drain you. One, two, three, four. All from top. Oof. Aish. Oof. Ah. Just general vehicles. That's good. Yeah. We're at the end of the game now. <laughs> I'm going to keep running. That is what you should do. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Although, you know, there's just a piece of me that just wants it. How can I possibly resist? Uh, pay two for Wes. Onto there. Uh, as a passenger. So we've got Torn Far with Wes Jansen in the uh, passenger seat on Rogue 2 uh, with some a power harpoon. So they're looking to make a run here. Come and get it. But they can't move and then make it happen, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, let's let's make it exciting. That's what I'm here for. Let's do it. I'm going to pay three to converge on Walker, Texas Ranger here. Interesting. And then I'm going to start drawing. Looks like he's got a plan. Okay. I do like that you cannot resist. I can't resist, man. Take that. I'm going to hold two. All right. Mine? Yeah. Activate all but one of my fours. So four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm hanging out at a casual 16 here, so I don't think it's easy pickings. Oh, it's so easy. We're going to pick. All right, I'm going to pay six for a victory class star destroyer. Oh, here we go. Minus you don't control two. it anymore. <laughs> I'm going to pay three for General Mahdi. Oh, here it is. The hero of the empire. Trading land for space. Can't go everywhere. Uh, so I get plus one because of the victory. This is not good. You say this is not good? Mm -mm. Why isn't this good? Well, it's good for you. I just don't know where to fight. I think I assert my ground dominance first. Well, you could reinforce downtown. What's that? You could reinforce here. Like next turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dogpile and, and shoot. Uh, let's go. I'm going to battle here. Yeah. So I'm at. Is this technically six. shielded? Third marker? It is shielded, so I don't get the plus one. You don't one. get the plus one, but at least. So I'm at nine plus. Six, fifteen to your what? Uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so yeah, I'm ahead 13, by fourteen. I've got fourteen. All right, so I'm ahead by two. I'm gonna fight here. Um, and if I fire the weapon, I don't get to draw destiny. What's your maneuver? Four. Maneuver is four. All right, my weapons are plus one here. And against the U, it would be plus two, three. So I would need a two. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm but it's in a lot of locations, though, you know. I'm going to fire. I need a two. Okay. 
It's a two. Oh, Wouldn't you know it. it? So I hit this rogue two. And I'm going to pay one force for the power harpoon. May target a uh, vehicle. It's going to crash if Destiny plus vehicle's maneuver is greater than eight. My maneuver is four. Uh, and I just need to get to eight. So I've got plus one on Destiny draws, courtesy of this passenger here, Wes. So that means I'm currently at a five. So you need a four. So you need a four. But... One more pass. Add ability of pilot to power harpoon weapon destiny. Ability of pilot is two. So now you need a two? One more pass. I've already played one. Can't play another. Just saw that dot on there. <laughs> the dot. You still, a two is a good shot. Here comes the two. It was a two. Oh, my my soul. blows. Boom. Nice. Hit and that was and the harpoons. Hit. Yeah. So thematic. Unreasonable. Okay. And now we do the official uh, battle. This actually goes here, doesn't it? Yep. We both got destiny draws for this. Yeah, I don't have any left in my deck, though. Oh, my gosh. But it, I hit, which is way better than attrition. Yeah. So currently 14 to 16, is that right? I'm ahead by two. Ahead yeah. by two. There's a four. All right. So I lose by two. But I'm having to lose this anyway, so it covers up. Covers the covers whole thing. The yeah. And then Sorry, Rogue 2 is gone, and I assume the pilots are gone yeah, too? It's, it's in, enclosed? It's enclosed, so it's all gone. Now, you're just crashed, right? That's only when you crash me. That, does it does say that crash? crash me? Target crashes. Yeah. If Destiny plus Vehicle greater than, greater than 8. So it's crashed. And we got to learn the crash rules again. But still, I have, to, I have to spend how many? I think I can still forfeit this, they were saying the other day. Yeah, 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 I was two ahead. You had to spend four. You had to satisfy four from the battle. I was two ahead, and then you got a four. Yeah. And four has to come from the battle. Yeah. I get it. Uh, crashed. You send that probe droid to it. Crashed vehicle has no land speed power maneuver. The vehicle has armor. It's reduced to two. A crashed vehicle may not utilize game text. Characters aboard a crashed vehicle are not automatically lost and may disembark during your move phase. However, the crashed vehicle is enclosed. Disembarking requires a force, and any character remaining aboard may not use power ability or game text that applies to battle. Okay. So I will go ahead and just uh, dunk the droid. <laughs> the old droid dunkaroo. Yeah. Right on. And then it'll be your turn. Okay. Now you have a really winnable fight there. I only got four cards, though. But it is very winnable, mm -hmm. you know, in the grand scheme of the game. Uh, seven coming at me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hey, what's your power at now? What's the new total? Eight apiece, and then one for the commander. Eight each? Uh, sorry, eight, eight total. So four each, and then one for the commander. So nine. It's like eight each. Oh my goodness, they're monsters. Oh, yeah. Four? So, uh, yeah, four. And these guys are worth nothing, and you can't shoot the gun, I imagine. All right. That. I can forfeit that. You can forfeit him. That's all I can do, though. There should be more lost. Yeah, that seems good. Well, hmm. I found myself in a card disadvantage situation. <laughs> hey, speeder for a walker. I, you know, the rebels say yes. The does the web, does your harpoons reduce my? Does it crash me immediately? It says, may target, draw destiny, target crashes if destiny plus vehicles maneuver greater. There it is. So I should lose an extra nine because he doesn't count anymore. Oh. You crash him during the fight, which is a problem. That happens before resolution? Yeah. That's crazy good. So I'll go two plus six, eight. Oh, my gosh. And then I have to lose one more. And does this crash count as uh, controlling? You don't count ability. He's right? just yeah. not even there. No. Okay, he's just crashed. 
So then I'll drain you for two. All right, go two off the top. And can I even do a, a, a battle? I'm here? not even there. Yeah, you're just an absolute. Well, let's reinforce. I'll pay three to put a blaster cannon there. A medium repeating blaster cannon. And then I'll draw one, two, three, four. Okay. Mine? Yeah. Let's activate all but one. I'm going to play a stalker yeah, in here space. We go. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck. And then I needed to draw any of the cards that make this okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay one. Uh, we're gonna fight on Hoth up here. All right. I'm at four sixteen, and I'm still at a respectable six. And I do get to draw here. Destiny. Um. So I'm not gonna do anything now. I need to determine if I even have six Destiny draws in here. Which I, I'm almost certain I don't. I don't even think I've ever seen one in the Rebels. So, there's no point in shooting the torpedoes because I have to be Destiny greater than armor. And I don't have any fancy cards that really make that work. I hope I have a six on top over here. So, all right. Uh, there's nothing to be done here. All right, I'll draw Destiny. Just take what you've got to take. Plus four. Oof. So I'm at 20 to your six. 20 to six. And I've got at least four from the fight. Yep. I think I'm going to lose a lot from the fight. All of it. Okay. So, now you got to... Yeah. So, I'm ahead by 14. Yeah. So, you can lose 8, and Let's then you still got to lose there. 6 somewhere else. 6. 1. 2. 3. Kaboom! <laughs> 3. Uh... Or I think the one more pass moment is over. I'm not sure walkers are going to hit the table <laughs> again. And then I'll go two randos. Five. Oh, a Han's back. Literally, Six. I have a card called uh, Fu Furry Fury <laughs> that is used to cancel Han's back. And it's a six destiny. So I've just been holding it all game, hoping you play Han's back. So <laughs> there I, can, it went. I can cancel it and put it back into my deck. Um, oh yeah, some kind of power source thing. I forget the rules on this. I always think they're better than they are. I gotta put like batteries. Can I put them on the shield and that works? I think so, yeah. Can business power them? I'll just have put that there. Way Great. back whenever I was making good decisions. Back then? Yeah. In the early early hours? I think it may have to say like, you could power stuff here. Yeah, your artillery weapons here are powered. So there it is. All right. And so I've I've satisfied your battle here. You're not yeah. plus two everywhere. End, end of turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm plus two, and then the victory gives me plus one. So I'm plus three on, on Ha. Okay. But you get a big two drain here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for me. Let's drain you for two. I'm going to get rid of that card. It's not happening. Just don't play Hans back on me. That'd be funny. I would die. Okay. Let's be smart about this. I'm excited about what I'm about to do. There's nothing. There's no. There's no uh, problem with this being here, right? Like it's just hanging out. Okay. Nothing. You can't sneakily pop out snowtroopers. No. I have that card that repairs it, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, three for Commander Willard there in the war room. Adam, when you guys play off camera, do you sit at an angle or do you play like normal? Some people play on this table. We actually do, yeah. But mostly not, you know. When you play 20 hours a week on camera, though, a lot of times you don't play off camera much. Let's put a Tauntaun Handler over here. I hate it. Got the cold grip of Tauntauns around my throat. They want to move here. And uh, that'll be it. Just slowly expanding your little Tauntaun empire. Uh, eventually, I'm going to make another X-Wing run. Oh, I need to draw. Uh, I need to draw one card. Okay. I'm just trying to run out the clock. I've got, like, none cards. So it actually yeah. gets pretty interesting. 
Uh, I will drain you for one. Mm-hmm. But you have a bigger deck stack than I do. So I do. A problem. I can afford to, to lose some. Yeah. There goes Zev. All right. Here's what I'll do. You ready for this party? Yeah. Six for a Blizzard Walker right. and two for an AT-AT We're back driver. to the Walker plan, huh? <laughs> um, then they'll all hop aboard. Oh, a classic. An absolute and classic. And he moves here for free. An absolute classic. And then these guys will drop off. Mm -hmm. And then your turn. Okay. I doubt you're going to try to fight me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For me, drain you for three. Doom encroaches. Mm hmm. It's a big walker. I'm at 20 there. Let's pay one to move. I mean, I'm going to draw one, two. We do play, uh, there have been a lot of moments Four. where we played like Sky Tear and Flesh and Blood, particularly at After Hours. Five. We're just tweaking a deck. Okay. Got my cards, I've got two money, and I'm passing to you. All right. I don't think I activate any of this. I activate some. Ryan Roper saying you're living on the edge. You got a walker and a dream. I'm too slow. Yeah, it's a problem. All right, let's activate all but two. I'll drain you for one. I don't need this Tatooine right now. I think. Let's go. It would have been great to see that when I had that X-Wing dominance. Just a sweet two money. Start spreading it around. You dropped all the planets out then, didn't you? You had like five planets They're still in there. here. Oh, no way. Uh, <laughs> I'll move. We've only seen one the whole, both games. I'm going to move the snow trooper officer here. I'm going to move the walker yep. here. Spread them out. And then I will. You love to see it. Draw a card. Pass. Nine on the walker. He's ready for action. He doesn't have the gun, though, you know? No gun. He's just a walker. It's just a number at this point. Yeah. Can he eclipse the nine? Oh, I'll give it a shot. At least I'll give it a college try. He's just saying one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, I'm I'm here too, man. I need one more good battle. <laughs> you might get it right here. It could go very poorly for me. But I can't resist. I never can. I'm just here to not resist. Great. Erk. Ever erk. Fifteen. Well, so your troopers can only react to go here, right? Snow troopers yeah. can go there. Right. And that would put you at, and you get plus two here. Don't like that at all. Maybe at two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten there. You're nine there. All right, dude, let's go. We got four, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what we got. Nine, but I can't then do that. Okay. 
I can't resist. Let's have a battle. Huey's coming in. All right. Hero of the Rebellion. War. Another Tauntaun. Put Dak out there. Dak Shepard himself. So we're currently at a 4 plus 6, so 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm at 12. 10, 13. What are you at 12 for? Uh, plus 3 for my starter stores. Aren't you under the shield? Oh, that's right. So I'm at 9. <laughs> plus. I got a secret shield. And I got plus 2 for my war room commanders, so I go up by 2. 15 to 9. Let's battle. Hope you don't have any jukes in the red cards. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Destiny? Any, any fancy business? Go ahead. Destiny 3. So what's that put you at? It's very good for 18 me. to my 9. I have to lose 9? Yeah. All right. I'm going to lose 8 here. And I'm going to interrupt. No. If an ATAT... <laughs> It's lost. Oh, I draw no. I draw Destiny. All cards with that Destiny number at that side are lost. So if I hit a four, both your Tauntauns and the cards attached to them go. Uh -huh. If I hit a one, two is gone. If I hit a two, that's gone. We know you're hitting a three, though. Three on the dot. <laughs> <laughs> no! I have to lose one more, which of course is a two. These are gone. Horrible. Empire has no luck. I at least had had to take a shot at it. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> All right, my turn. I'll drain you for one. You got me. Uh, both my walkers got dunked. <laughs> um, I'm going to activate all my force. Then I'm going to pay four. You're dreaming a prayer here. All these guys are going to go up here. <laughs> We're retreating. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll pass. All right. I'll drain you for four. I'm out of cards. Five, six. He's gone. Four. Yeah, nice. I uh, I don't know what I would change if we were just going to hang out in Hossamore. But, like, obviously the Tauntauns are a problem. The Tauntauns are wrecking. Because I, I basically have to have so much stuff. Because, like, the deployment restriction... Getting past the shield is so hard. Because the moment that you move over, I can just dunk, 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 battle. Yeah, and then you so. weed it down, and then I... The reinforce is so hard. And then even as you move past here, the Tauntauns can jump back out. Yeah. And just cycle forever. I mean, I think if I were... It makes sense. I, I could maybe tech harder into this. But also, like, in a tournament environment, it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to play other planets, and I'm going to control the Star Destroyer space. Yeah. And force you to come fight where I want you to fight. Yeah. Because you can only drain me for, like, three or four here. But I have to be able to drain you for just as much not on this planet. Yeah, I agree with that. I had a... So this deck felt a lot more balanced, obviously. Because um, it's got those weird space moments where you can, like, jump in and be like, ah! Uh... And then it's also got the ground game. So I'm just trying to, obviously, just trying to make it well, the, difficult. Well, no the matter. Tauntauns, particularly on Hoth, with the shield up, is, like, really cool. That, no matter what deck I'm playing, that's cool, because you have a home base. And it's, you probably have two or three drain happening that I really just can't compete with. Yeah, um, just spreading out, basically. So you, uh, I can imagine a deck that literally runs this and whatever you have to run this one. And like one, if you have a, do you have any of, do any of your locations have a plus one drain? Which one is that? This? Uh, this one, yeah. Yeah. So literally it's like, this is the only one in your deck. Mm -hmm. And your whole idea of Hoth is you have drain three that I probably can't contest. Yeah. Because if I'm not running walkers and blowing up the shield, that, that's a problem all the time. Yeah. You could almost just reinforce. I could just reinforce here all game. And you just, well, it's annoying me everywhere else and then draining me for three. Yeah. Drain three, drain three, drain three, drain three. And then if I come here, you just have a way to dunk on me. Yeah. But like you don't have, oh. have to have a full Hoth set up. It's literally just the. Oh, that's true. The Tauntaun dancers with the pilot. And then like. This is so hard to overcome that, and with most average, like an, a normal Star Wars CCG deck, you would have your Hoth Tauntaun set up as like a third of your deck. 
Yeah, yeah. And that's then you cool. would have the rest to be able to go mess with your opponent. Do you have to play? You don't have to play the planet to play the. Not at all. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. So you basically have a few riders, a few handlers, and just these three locations in your deck, and yeah. you can get moving. And then any of the underground locations that help do what you want to do, those are just free resources for you because yeah. they don't have any dark side icons. Yeah. It's kind of like my Death Star stuff. stuff. Yeah, the war, war Room is particular. It's super notable how good that is. That's great. Uh, Dagobah? Dagobah, indeed. Let me go get some water, and yeah. then we'll, we'll Dagobah it up. Get some water. Get out of here. Have a good time with it. Have a good time with the water. Like I said, it's it been so cool to literally spend some of this week obsessing over a Star Wars CCG deck. I haven't done that in forever. I mean, think about how cool it is. So... On the one hand, you've got Flesh and Blood that's got this crazy previous season going on. They just released an Illusionist, which is like peak me playing a character in a game. Illusionist. I, I only ever played one type of magic user in role-playing games. Illusionist. I think it's so cool to be able to, uh, to have some avenue of attack that is just your opponents believing that bad things are happening. It's really just so cool to me. Uh, tricky, you know? And then, uh, meantime, I was thinking about how to improve my Hoth deck for Star Wars CCG. Like, that's like, it's a Golden Age moment of, of gaming. It's like the best of the old and the best of the new. I've also, I, uh, I pulled in that, um, I finally got on that Ashes deck builder. Started really messing around. Now I've got two uh, Celestial Divine decks that are, or Divine Illusion decks that are ready to go. Again, plain Illusion, you know, so it's in character. Fits the theme. And then Jason, you're saying uh, Dagobah is not great for the light side. Jonathan also saying the same thing. Dagobah isn't the most exciting for light side. Lots of red cards, no vehicles, starships. There's really only two characters. Isn't it just Luke and Yoda? Um, but that's cool because like I feel like I feel like we at this point we can almost we can open Dagobah and then we can make decks that kind of just play into whatever theme that we want, and we can see what that kind of asymmetrical Star Wars CCG play is about. Uh, maybe Zach's playing Death Star, and I'm playing Dagobah Hoth or Tatooine Dagobah. Dagobah is apparently a very interesting set. Were we able to get the card pops going? I don't know. Jonathan, you text me if if or if not, but e either way, it's fine. Okay, I was gonna say because we technically. Poor stalled yeah, Dagobah. Jonathan, I'll love Jabba's Palace because half the cards are weird aliens, which I will. Boy, there's a ton of weird aliens out there in Star Wars, and they're kind of the point again. That is half of the game. Ugh. Yeah, David's saying you could also do the weather stuff. Yeah. That that apparently evens the odds on Hawk pretty well. Dagobah. This is the revised edition, and it's basically like the unlimited edition of Flesh and Blood. You have the white borders. Um, but they also cleaned up a lot of the wording when they go to revise. Good. Good. Which is cool. Everyone's saying it's kind of the weakest set. Dagobah. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It's I mean, like... It's not a lot of action at Dagobah, is there? I think it's... Uh, Go there and you leave there. Obviously a heavy focus on Yoda, Luke, and then like the Jedi training is kind of a, a very sideways way to play. Um, so that makes sense, right? Uh, unlike Hoth is like a very iconic battle. But if I get it all, I'm probably going to try to do it. Well, you may as well. That's what we're here for, right? We may as well see all the different things that happen. They're nice packs. Yeah. Look good. Is there less in this one than there was? Yeah, in these one? are smaller. Oh, a little smaller supplement packs, set. Yeah. Okay, I see the idea. All right, you ready? Let's dig in. Shall we? So, my thinking is we're going to open, I'm going to check these out, and then probably come back and build a universal deck next time we're around. Rogue Asteroid. Plan an asteroid sector and specify starting direction. Every move phase, move to the next adjacent asteroid sector. Where present, add two to asteroid destiny. It may be targeted by starship web. So there's floating asteroids basically going through. And they can just hit ships, I assume. Mm -hmm. right? Does anyone know the order of rarity in uh, in these packs? Do you have any cards with a diamond on the name? Yeah. Is that the rare? <laughs> or does that mean something? I don't think so. That's the asteroid stuff. Look at this. Site, site, system, asteroid, 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 big one. Uh, yeah. This is insane. 
every set they're putting this kind of a thing out. This Isn't is that crazy. Insane. This is insane. Oh, so some cards have one or more diamond symbols in the title. The number of diamonds in is the number of copies that both players together can have on table at any given system. Okay. So we can only have a combined in the uh, in the game. You want to go top down? On Someone's board. asking. So yeah, definitely. That makes sense. Com Chief. I don't know. Are we popping? Let's. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, the the Jedi test number one, great warrior. Work yeah, they are popping. So there's a great warrior. Let's see if we get all of the uh, Jedi tests. Never tell me the odds. You have? Are there different ones? Different yeah, Jedi there's tests? like you have to complete a series of tests in order. Okay, here we go. See the packs in all their glory. Now this is the set. That does come with the bounty hunters. For Dark Side? Super cool. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Space Slug, Jedi Test number two. Is that a rare? Someone said the last test. There's five Jedi Tests, by the way. Oh, wow. Uh, let's, yeah, let me find out. We can't see that list. I want to see which, yeah. where the rare comes in. Um, you know, Fear's an interesting card. Hmm. I can see that by the time this set was going on, people knew how terrifying it was to lose force on the top of your deck. Great Warrior is common. That, that makes sense. That's your draw. So since an altar was like the, the meta, right? It seems like the meta. Uh, so since an altar is like the generic cancels. Because it's a do or do not card. Just a hard counter. To those cards? Yeah. They, it, that, that's one thing that eventually gets really complicated is they print things that are like... Like meta. Specifically. Meta. So you have to know a, a lot of weird little card interactions. It, do or do not, you put it on the table. Since an altar become lost interrupts instead of used interrupts, I assume. And then anyone who successfully draws for Sensor Alter loses two force. Just said no. <laughs> Denied. We don't like it. There's the Bog Wing. Large flying jungle predator, one to five meters long, including tail. Swoops down and grasps victims in its claws. Young are born in mid flight as the mother drops from extreme altitude. It's an avian creature. I don't think I got a rare in my pack. Is that possible? That's I'm looking for a rare. I don't think there is one. Wow. Check out. You see the Stark Side Precision Targeting? You haven't. You definitely need to. That would be a cool Hoth card. Space Slug? Oh, Space Slug, the light side version is rare. Got it. I don't know what number that was in my pack. I got confused. Precision targeting. Mm -hmm. Use three force, put it on the table. Stark side card. And then for the rest of the game, this is so good. Any card which is hit may not be used to satisfy attrition. Wow. For the rest of the game? Yeah. That's crazy. Your weapons get better. People saying second to last. Let's see if that's true. Because I got Captain Nita. It is. Is Rest Luck Ra off a rare card? Mm, sounds like it. Yep. All so right. se second to last is the rare. Cool. If any bounty hunter is defending a battle alone, add one battle destiny. Or if Bosk, Greedo, or Boba Fett is defending alone, add two battle destiny. Oh my gosh. That's great. A lone bounty hunter just dropping in two battle destiny? That's amazing. What card was that called? Res Luck Ra'ah. And then the flavor text is Rek Guza Kias Nyek Kresuk Zif. Rek Res Fesrek to Dashak Kulusak Luck Grezorg Kurafsa Luk Refeskano, etc. I assume it's a language that is uh, something I don't understand. I'm going to guess it's Bosque. I want to see if I have the Avenger because Captain Need is really good on it. 
Wow. Grounded Starfighter. You're saying coming here was a bad idea. I'm beginning to agree with you. David C. Just handed me about way too many Dagobah packs trying to get an Executor. This is bringing back so many memories. That is definitely Luke, Yoda, and the Executor are high on the list. So we've got Commander Garant that uh, when a board Executor uses two force to get an Executor's sight into hand. So we've got an engine building. They'd be crazy to follow us. Use one force to target a starship at an asteroid sector or a blown away system. For the remainder of turning, you may add two to destiny totals targeting the armor and maneuver of ship. That's right. They kind of buffing the weapons from the, some of the stuff that I've seen. Yeah. There is no try. Do or do not, and there is no try of the same effect. Wow, it's totally sense and alter. Wow, look at this. We can still outmaneuver them. Uh, it has a used and a lost effect. The lost effect, if opponent just initiated a battle with at least two capital ships where you have a lone starfighter, you add two battle destiny. That's going to be good against me. Yeah. Kind of scary, though, really, that, that you like, can have so much variance, like, suddenly, like, ah, but that's, you know, in a lot of ways, that is Star Wars. I think the threat of that is important in the game. Yeah. Like, when I, you had the one X-Wing, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, if you played that, you get two Battle Destiny, and then you panic and bring stuff in. Yeah, it's real good. Pretty gross. Got the Minoc. You gotta love that Minoc. The creatures look really cool in here. <laughs> Egregious pilot error, man. This is great. Details of the notorious Incident and Anuat are required reading of the Imperial Academy of Raythal, where the pilot's names are posthumously displayed. So this is the light side card. During opponent's control phase, if opponent has two or more capital starships together at a system or sector, draw destiny. If Destiny minus one is less than the number of those starships, they may not move or participate in battle until the end of your next turn. Wow. Just got to sit there. That's cool. Can't battle, can't do anything. Check out this flagship. Pay two to put it on a Star Destroyer. My other starships can move as a react to the same system or sector for free. If the starship is lost, though, I lose X-Force, where X is the starship's armor. That's awesome. What's the other? Yeah, so flagship. executor's probably like 20 armor. Yeah. Thing. And then control. That's a rare card, I think. Cancel sensor alter or cancel an immediate effect, a mobile effect, or a force drain. Yeah, cool. It's a card I'll never play. Dagobah. Lightside Here's version. Dagobah. Looks great. Oh, the planets look amazing. Yeah. Here's the rare in this one, man. Uh, wars not make one great. Excellent. A Jedi seeks nonviolent solutions to problems, but may fight to preserve the existence of life. Slippery slope there. An apprentice must learn which battles to fight and which to avoid deploy in any location for either player to initiate a battle or force drain anywhere. That player must use plus one force. Effect canceled if opponent controls this location. Wow. Put it on the safe location. Four strains and battles cost an additional force. So imagine you putting that one to drain. Imagine putting that deep into your hawk base. Yeah. Super good. It's supposed to go on Dago, I reckon. Let's use plus one force. Huh. Domain of Evil. We're three tests in. One, two, and three. Oh, wow. You're pulling tests like hot sauce. There's some rogue asteroids. Ooh, voyeur. Yeah, R2 peeking in. Oh my gosh. Do you see the, the flavor text on this? On which one? As there are very few local authorities on Dagobah, peeping astromechs can get away with just about anything. <laughs> Classic. There's a nudge. The uh, nudge was insane in Star Wars uh, LCG. Is, is Dagobah rare? Light side I Dagobah? I don't think so. Isn't there mine, rare mine wasn't rare. How about Dingar's Blaster Combine? That's probably a rare. That's beautiful. One force deploying Dingar may target a creature, character, vehicle using one force. Draw Destiny. Destiny plus one greater than defense. If hit by Dingar targets forfeit equals zero, that is a cool weapon, man. <laughs> I put all the bounty hunters and their weapons in my draft cube. Wow. For that very reason. Rugged, reliable Valken 38 Combine. Excellent sniper's weapon in the hands of a competent marksman. So apparently the third from the back was the rare in my last pack. Hmm. The flagship was rare and not the control that I thought was rare. Maybe the so, planet screws it up. You had a planet yeah. in that pack. Yeah, it did. David says this is the start of where they make weapons better. 
I felt okay with weapons previously, you know? They were doing it. Well, they were okay. I think the problem before is they were just too focused. Yeah. Um, I don't know There's if... the main executive corridor. I have a couple... Getting close. Chance. Much anger in him. I assume that's a, the rare. Deploying a rebel at the end of each opponent's battle phases. If you have presence at a location where that rebel has presence and a battle did not take place, they lose 4-4. Four oh, that's awesome. Love it. Well, we got the big one. The big old asteroid. And it, Literally. It seems like it's my my friend because it's got a light side icon on it. Asteroid rules are in effect here. If you control four strain plus one here for each asteroid field that same system. I'll keep an eye on that. And then another beautiful weapon here, Bosk's mortar gun. All the Bosk love. Relby V10 micro grenade launcher, modified version of the limited range CSPL Caspel projectile launcher. Blows lots of stuff up. Yep. If destiny greater than zero, one card with that destiny number at same site is lost. That's a cool way to do grenades. If destiny is zero, mortar gun explodes and warrior firing it is lost. Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate for whoever fires that thing. Jedi Levitation. Use X Force where X equals seven minus the ability of your highest ability character on the table. Take a card from the used pile into your hand. Mm, so we pull something out like the X Wing. Classic recursion. That's a cool way to do it, though. Check out Imbalance. Not only does it have hilarious Yoda face on it. Concentrate! If you just retrieve Force, you must lose X, where X is one half the number of cards retrieved. Nice. So if recursion gets too easy... A lot of times you would recur into the use pile, though, so it's not like you just draw it. Because it is your life. Anger, fear, aggression. Insert into the opponent's deck. When effect reaches the top, it's lost, but an opponent must initiate a battle by the end of the opponent's next battle phase or lose four force. I like that I like a lot. that forcing battles. That's a good dark side mechanic. That's a light that... side card. Oh, good. But yes, that would be nice. Yeah, I feel like that would be great as dark side, right? Because like a lot of times <laughs> you want me to fight you. The Professor... Use three force to deploy on your side of the table or free if C-3PO is on the table. Nice. If you have a protocol droid aboard a starship or vehicle in battle, you may use X force to reduce the battle damage against you by X. X plus one of the astromech character also aboard. So pay money, prevent damage? Yeah. That's insane. And you have C-3PO, right? Yeah. But paying money to prevent damage is like, you can't ever make that a good deal, is it? Well, you pay force that you'll get back to prevent losing it permanently. Mm, right. I think that's a good exchange. Yeah, that's, true. that's true. Especially if you're generating like 10 or 12 around or something. Surfer may not move because you need to attrition. Piloted by a Corellian is power plus two. Oh, cool. Moving to attack position. Got a TIE bomber. Apparently there's bombing runs now. Oh, I got one here. Bombing run. Deploying a non-interior planet site. Obviously. They move to an adjacent non interior site at the start of your move phase. Your bombers at a related system may move to the site. Bombers must return to system at the end of your battle phase. All right, then we do a bombing run. I guess we know the rules for that. Starship levitation. Is that a test? No, they have special little things. I got a dark side deck of a cave. It's rare. Mm. It, it like they have dark side presence on Dagaba, which is cool. That's tight, and you get two lightsabers for that yeah, too. But but if you're there, I don't get those lightsabers. Probably won't be. So as long as you're in there, I can't deploy there. Is Anawat planet yet? Huh. Boom. Looks awesome. If opponent initiates a battle here, your starships may move as a react to or from the nearest related asteroid sector. Wow. Check your out the other Ugnots side. deploy free. Is that a light or a dark side card? starships here. If you control all your Ugnots on table or forfeit plus two, it's a light side card. But High Avengers, those look cool. Makes your Ugnots better though. Don't want that. I don't have any Ugnots yet. I don't think we'll get them for a minute either. Descent into darkness. If either player just placed a card in a used pile, deploy on table. All used piles are immediately recirculated. When any player places one or more cards in a used pile, those cards are immediately recirculated. 
So for that turn, everything just goes back into the deck, shuffles back in. Yeah. That's actually particularly good, like at the end, when you don't have a lot of cards. Yeah. So the ability to immediately recirculate means you can keep drawing Destiny. I ran into that situation at the end of that game. Yeah, Van Sant and Ugnaughts weren't didn't come in until Cloud City. So it's cool that they do that, where it's like, your Ugnaughts are minus one, but you just don't even have Ugnaughts. You just don't have them, yeah. It's just a little taste of the future here. Ooh, Wraithal, the dark side planet. All your troopers are Destiny plus one. And then if you occupy an opponent's Wraithal game, text is canceled. Yeah. Just answer reasons. <laughs> also got IG88's Neural Inhibitor. Minotaur DAS430 electromagnetic projectile launcher, often mistaken for a blaster rifle. Fires small hollow darts filled with neurotoxin, which causes temporary paralysis. I'll never forget how awesome the the IG model thing is in... Uh, in Empire Strikes Back. No, the other one. The oh, recent one. IG-11? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's, cool. So, like, you immediately, like, droids like this are unstoppably great. The literal coolest? Yeah, it's just like, man, you can target things with essentially science rather than human stuff. Um, bad feeling have I. Deploy on my on the opponent's side of the table. Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, Lando, Yoda, and Obi Wan are each deploy plus two. Also, opponent may not play oh. cards with bad feeling in the title. It's just, I mean, they're literally just attacking the meta directly. Yeah, you know, and thematically. Which, Big one: asteroid cave or space slug belly. You can make a cave in a space slug or an asteroid. You get one of those. This is a light side. I, I haven't seen that yet, no. But yeah, you could basically have the asteroid cave moment happening. I'm going to keep going. Did we get any of the bounty hunters in? Not yet. Wow. No characters really at all. Nope. Broken concentration. To pull on your side of the table, apprentices subtract X from training destiny where X is ability minus Jedi test number. Also, once a turn, you may use two force to move the top card of an opponent's force pile to the top card of the reserve deck. Hmm. Top card of Prince force pile. So th they basically lose a force. That's okay. It having a general effect is nice. Um, it's a very specific penalty on Jedi test, but then it's got a, something it can do otherwise. Yeah, I'm hoping... Uh, I would like to see Executor and, uh, and or Bounty Hunters, but I haven't seen either. Yoda Luke would also be nice, either, either or both. Uh, we've only seen three of the Jedi tests as well. Asteroids do not concern me. Is that one of them? Yep. Yeah. Deploy on any asteroid sector, target one opponent's capital ship. Pilots aboard may not use ability to draw destiny. Subtract four from asteroid destiny when targeting the starship. Trevor saying, do the droids have armor, or is that CC2? I don't think droids have armor yet. I don't know why the, the rare slots bounce around, David. It's crazy. What up, Pit Stop? Saying, uh, hey, good to see you. My knock. Gotta love it. It is the future, you see. So we have five, four of the five tests. We need number four at this point. Levitation, is that a... Uh... Okay. No. Corporal Vandalize? I don't know. Is it, is, uh, it is the future you see rare? It is. Okay. So we got the rare Jedi test. We're only short of Luke and Yoda for making that dream a reality. I got a rare Jedi test. Executor? Nope. No bounty hunters, no ex executor yet. That's how we got a... There is still hope. I got a non-Bugatti box. I know. That first one was not so great for me. Shot in the dark. It's dark. funny not having these uh, rarities printed on here. Yeah. Because I have no idea. Order to engage. You see force to deploy an opponent's side of the table is a light side card. At the end of each of the opponent's battle phases, if a battle didn't 
take place at every location where both players have presence, they lose three force. I, I like these cards. Just forcing the engagement. Mm -hmm. Tunnel vision. Take one card in the hand from force pile. Reshuffle. I got another Jedi test, but it's one. We need. I I haven't seen number four yet. Ooh, we got the Mist Hunter. Oh yeah. Zakus and Forlom ship. Or, yeah. But no Zakus or Forlom. Less exciting. We're almost out of here. Yeah, dude. Uncertain is the future. Cool card. I just love that little X wing in space. David, I don't think there were fewer packs, but there are, seem like there are less cards per pack. There's a space slug. Space creatures. Mm hmm. Han's toolkit. Use a force to deploy on a character, vehicle, or starship, or free on Millennium Falcon or Han. While aboard a vehicle or starship, you may use a force to cancel any interrupt or effect which targets that vehicle or starship. Ooh, good. Way to go, Han. He is broken. Ooh, unexpected interruption. Use two force, take one interrupt into hand from reserve deck, reshuffle. Wow. Pay two, get any interrupt? From, from where? From your deck. And it, you can play it as an interrupt. That's crazy. What is that light or dark? Go get a panic from nowhere. I assume it's light. It's dark. What's it called? <laughs> Unexpected interruption. I'm more interested now. Yeah, suddenly I'm paying attention. Space slug looking good. Hmm. All right, I'm letting you open the rest. Oh, really? I'm not that lucky. Here's a dig. Yeah, album one. Yeah, you get to. Get that executor already. Yoda, you seek Yoda. Go get Yoda. Uh, that's useful. Better find him. It's right here. He is not ready. I love that. Dagobah training area. More executor locations. Did you? Could you have these without the ship? Yeah. Just don't have the ship. You're just hanging out. You better have a docking bay. Yeah. All right. Nothing. At peace. I got a Dengar. All we right, got a bounty got hunter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can imagine, like, the cool part of the set to me is you have all the bounty hunters and all their ships, and then the executor. But like, so we got what the weapons were all whose weapons earlier that you were getting. We got a few different uh, bounty hunters. I'll, I'll pull the weapons out. One of those greens. We got IG. We've got. I think we got a Dingar weapon. He, is he a sniper? Bosk. Yeah, Dingar. So we got him and his gun. Bosk, IG 88's weapons. Uh, so. I mean, you got to think, you would open like five more boxes trying to find the bounty hunters, right? Yeah, and like also, so we didn't get a, unless you pulled it, a Jedi test number four. So you can't even do the test track. Mm -hmm. And we didn't get Luke, and we didn't get Yoda. So like... You're just left thinking like, I should probably buy some more packs. You would need to buy like a lot of this. <laughs> but it's the classic, it reminds me of the Haas cycle from the Star Wars LCG. Yeah. Where a lot of it is so dependent on the other stuff. Whereas earlier stuff felt more generic. Mm-hmm. The, obviously, some things like Tauntaun, but Tauntaun handlers or whatever. Yeah, super good. Yeah, but like Mist Hunter is fine by itself, but it's nowhere near as good because uh, it's immune to attrition less than three if Zuckus is on board. So you really need Zuckus there. You gotta have Zuckus. Um, the Zuck. And then even the weapons, it's like you can put them, it costs two for a boss or four for a different warrior. So it's, it's not double worth the four. price. It's not worth four. These things aren't worth four. Yeah, so it's a lot of inter interdependencies. Um, which is both thematic, but also like very challenging. We almost had that problem in Hoth. Like yeah. I ended up with one AT, AT cannon, but we had plenty of speeders and plenty of walkers. Um, Why did they, I mean, they changed the templating here too, and inexplicably, I love this. <laughs> Look at this, this is the kind of thing that drives me crazy. 
So a boss mortar gun, like all weapons, it says draw destiny. If destiny greater than zero, effect, basically. And then the IG-80, it says draw destiny. Target is power forfeit and land speed equals zero until end of your next turn, if destiny plus one greater than ability. So one of them has the ability and then the cost, or like what you have to do in the yeah. rooms, what you have to do, and then the, the results. Huh. Yep. Uh, so people it's asking Moxie out of control, <laughs> if uh, it's, we're finally going to break down and add singles. I don't nah, think so. So nah. the plan for me is we'll come in next time. Did you divide by light and dark yet? Mm -mm. Your team. I will. Um, and I'm I'm essentially wanting to basically zoom out from Ha specifically and integrate any cards that make sense in general to a more just general deck to see what we would be playing with at this point. If we were in the in the in the game in, in the meta, meta. Um, and then we'll go from there because yeah, like after that. after Dagobah is uh, Cloud City, I think. Which I I knew coming into Dagobah, it was kind of like the weaker point in the game's history because um, it was it is so specific. Uh, and then what happens on Cloud City? Does it get? Didn't you say what was Cloud City? The one after it was one of the better sets. So. I know... Death Star 2 is kind of the last great... Death Star 2 is great. Um, and Endor is great, which is the set before that. And the Special Edition is great, which is the set before that. Of Jabba's Palace. Right. So between Cloud City and Jabba's Palace, I know Jabba's Palace has a lot of the, like, um, uh, spy slash uh, and more bounty hunter style stuff and all that kind of stuff. Because you go back to Tatooine. 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 This is Tatooine. That's right. Um... But yeah, uh, and also like, so another weird part of this is the Luke is in this set, Son of Skywalker, mm -hmm. and he's built for training. So like, you're not getting a main Luke for like just interacting. And then the Yoda is built for training as well. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you're light side and you're not wanting to train, this set offers so Nothing. little. You get some reds and some, yeah, some weapons yeah, and stuff. You got some good stuff, yeah. Um, and then, these red cards are just canceling other cards, though. Yeah, that's not not where we want to live. So it's pretty. What's really amazing about this to me, though, is coming from the Hoth set to this, because I feel like the again part of it is the fact that Hoth is centered on a battle. Yeah, which and, not and to so make it a great. Set, all that stuff yeah. clicks, uh, but this set is a weird part of the movie because it's literally the bounty hunters trying to find Han. And the executor trying to find them in the asteroids, and then Luke training by himself. Yeah, and they well, we got it. They covered it yeah. in the set, <laughs> we, which is amazing. We covered it. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. And here it is. David says the sad thing is, a, is as a kid, I didn't know all of that and bought way too many Dagobah cards. Yeah, well, lesson learned. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you have it all, there's some fun decks to be had. I, I particularly like the bounty hunters. Like I, like I said, I put all the bounty hunters and their weapons in my cube. Because I think part of uh, the problem as well in, even in like constructed, is that the bounty hunters and their weapons are, they need each other. Yeah. And they're not super, they're not like super cost efficient for what you're getting. Um, but in like draft and seal, they're perfect. Oh, of course. Yeah. So I was really excited to add those. And you, you did a draft key or a sealed thing with this? Is that, that You talked about that before? I did a cube. The, an official cube. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I have all the bounty hunters and their weapons and their ships in the cube. So you could draft those. And it's for drafting. It is specifically for drafting, yeah. Right. So cool. it's the kind of thing where, like, Dingar's Blaster is not... If you see that and you pull it, it's not that phenomenal. Yeah. But if you later get him, it gets a lot better. It gets really good. Especially yeah. in draft and sealed. So it's that decision point of, like, do you take their ship hoping you get them? Because you know they're in the cube somewhere. You know right? they're in there, yeah. yeah. But somebody else might take Dingar first pick. Exactly. This is, this is the old draft strategy. Huh. But, you know, you're looking at a pack with Vader in it and two bounty hunters. Who's, what are you going to take? That camp. Oh, you actually do make packs like that, don't you? I was going to say, you probably don't see that pack in the real game. Not in the real game. But in the cube, it's literally shuffle all the cards up and grab 15. We're drafting. Dang, that sounds cool. And you cool. do that, you know, four I times. I can actually do that now really effectively. Like draft? I, I know exactly how to play. <laughs> and you can imagine trying to build your deck strategy as you're drafting. Yeah. Where like you're starting Good to key luck, off early man. cards. Yeah. But like I built the cube so that everyone's playing on two or three of the same planets. Good. And there are very specific things you can try to draft towards. 
And none of it is like, if you miss a certain piece, you just fail. Right on. Just less good. Yeah. Yeah, it's less good. But like, you know, there's Tuscans and there's Hoth and there's... Man, yeah, I didn't get enough Tuscans to really do Tuscan stuff. Yeah. And some, some of the important cards that make some of that stuff work come later. So those are in the cube too. Where like there's cards that trigger off... Because as a developer, if you see no one's playing Tuscans, then like yeah, obviously you, you give them some more cards. Call your deck under the Tuscan sun. Writes itself, really. All right, we're all organized. We're ready for next time. Do a little deck building. I might actually, uh, I might actually think about doing some deck building pre-stream. Yeah. See if I can get something coming. Because at this point, really, you can look through the cards that you just gained access to and say, like, this applies. I know what I have, yeah. so I can, I can put this together. Yeah. So I, I'm ultimately, I think, with the Imperial, it's going to go uh, non Death Star, but I'm going to lean heavier into like Star Destroyers, and so. I want to fight in space, but I'm going to still try to maintain the, like, probe droid, like, trooper. But snow troopers are tough because they only go to Hoth. Yeah. So I'm going to probably pivot back to non-snow troopers because that's just... Just put some old school stormtroopers down there. Hope yeah. Hope they get the job done. if you're going... I think the original stormtroopers are one cost. And so if I play that probe droid minus one on the planet, if yeah. they start to come down for free. Okay. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Or they might be two. I think they're one though. I'll probably do I'll probably do some minimal Hoth like we were talking about with the Tauntauns and whatnot. You got and that well that was that card ended up being a dark side card. Which one? The one I was like, oh put that deep in the base. I think that was a dark side card. Yeah. Yeah. They knew. They figured us out. So I'll buff the Hoth strategy a little bit and then I'll probably do some space stuff. I might I might play a little Tatooine too. Just yeah. take a look. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm gonna have to look again at because I, I got, in the Haas set, I got more Star Destroyers. Yeah. And I got the Probe Droid stuff, which I didn't have before. But we were just playing on Hop. So I needed to be able to fight, like, with, I had to have the Walkers and the Walker Pilots um, and that kind of tech. But that's why I'm, I'm excited to build with just all, all of the cards. And, and you can do Walkers not on Hop? Mm -hmm. Right on. They're just vehicles. Just exterior sites, yeah. basically. Like, there, there were Walkers in Rogue One on that yeah. sand planet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, everybody. Hey, thanks for joining. We'll be back uh, next week continuing the series. What are we calling this? A journey. A jo Star, Star Wars CTG journey. CTG journey. Yep. We'll be back next week. Uh, going to be probably doing light deck building than playing uh, with the full collection so far. This past couple of weeks was very focused on Hoth. Um, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. But if you're unfamiliar, we, we throw back to all kinds of crazy games on Thursdays. We'll be here all the time. Oh, somebody asking about the mat. So that uh, slip, that's, uh, it's an X-Wing mat. Look up like Hoth X-Wing mat. You need, if you need a Star Wars mat, look up X-Wing mats. They got yeah. a bajillion of them. And they're good. And they're good. Take care. We'll see you guys next week.